have you been Nenga? I'm not fine. I'm angry with all of you. Yeah. Why are you angry? Has your mother not been calling you? She has been calling me. I will say I'm not angry with her. Ah, eh, that means it's your father now. Your father not try if not him. No, it's you. Yambi, Abasi. What did I do now? Since I closed from school, I have been expecting you to come back so that I will show you my result. Woyo, woyo, woyo. Oh, my Rafrido Tambok. Don't be angry with me now. Hey! Anyway, I am so sorry about that. Hey, but I know that you pass your exam as you, you are learning. <laughs> you are a very brilliant child. <laughs> okay, Antony. Yes. I hope you got something from me. Ah, ah, of course I did. That is why I even climbed all the way to upstairs so I can come and give you. But you have to kiss what face. No, I don't want to kiss. Just give me. Ah, you know, Nam. You know you are a little bit so you need to stress your brain so your brain can be active. I ah, guess what? Now your case anything. Just puzzle mm -hmm. the game. Just give me. Hey, guess name if I give you the back. No, I don't want to guess. Just give me. Oh, yeah, wait, I'll give you, but let me count this. After the count of three. One, two. <laughs> don't drag it. Don't drag it. Don't drag it. Don't drag it. <laughs> Young girl's bad lady. She knows everything that goes on around her. She's a good for you. Thank you. I'm sure you like it. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not glad. Daddy! Mm. Daddy! My angel. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. My love, I'm here. Auntie Rebecca came around, so I had to come and tend to her. Mm, okay. I thought you were sleeping. I mean, I came to your room minutes ago when you were asleep. Uh, I was sleeping, but I've woken up. Hi, oh. Auntie Rebecca. Oh, hi, sweetheart. You look good. Thank you. And you too. Really? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, my love, why is my angel so excited? Well, I just spoke to his mom and she's in Nigeria. Your mom is in Nigeria? Yes. How, how? I spoke to her earlier to be and she didn't tell me anything like that. Well, she said it's meant to be a surprise, but I guess I've spoiled it already. Uh, By the way, what do we have here? Oh, this um... <gasps> It's my favorite. Really? Daddy, I love it. Uh, I know. Listen, faithful. Um, since mom is coming back, just Relax, she makes something delicious. No, don't worry. I think she won't mind eating it also. She'll be very happy. Let um, me just quickly take her to the kitchen and wait for her to come back. Are you, are you sure? No, don't worry. Thank you, Auntie Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I should be on my way now. I don't want your wife to meet me. What about the food? Won't you go with it? What? Did, did you see what happened? Your daughter took it to the kitchen. Huh? You know my wife will definitely ask her. Go and collect it from her. Then look for something to tell her. Say anything. Just frame up, make up anything. And you think my daughter will not tell her? This is her favorite. right? Go and collect it from her. Yeah. I don't know. She will tell my wife that you prepared it. Go and collect it. Do whatever you want to do. I don't, out. I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to I'm go. I'm going. Rebecca. In the young girl's bad lady, she knows everything that goes on around her. She's brilliant, and you know she's observant. She thinks like an adult. She's a little lady, like a mommy in the house. She is above her age. She knows it all. Somebody daughter, how wisdom is 
Look at my teddy bear. Are you looking at all grown up? Huh? I missed you. I missed you. Ah, welcome. But mommy, what took you so long? Don't you know I missed you? At least mommy needs to rest. She's here now. She's not running away. But daddy, I missed my mommy. I missed you too, ah. my angel. You sound as if I haven't been at my best. Didn't you miss me? <laughs> no, Daddy, I don't miss you that much. The only time I miss you is when I go to school. Ah, I guess I have to travel so I can be missed. <laughs> Please don't say that to my angel. Don't worry, baby. How about we go in there and I'll explain everything that happened, okay? Okay, Mommy. And I got you a surprise package. Let's Mommy, go. Mommy, is it a gown? Like I said, it's a surprise. All right? No, Mommy. Tell me now. Really? Yes. Mommy said you should get into the house. Daddy, stay out of this. It's between me and my mom. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Don't forget that mommy will travel again. And it will still be you and I. Mm. Well, please, don't talk to my angel that way, okay? <laughs> don't worry, I'm here to fight you. <laughs> my superwoman. Oh, really? Oh, wow. She's your superwoman? Yes. Well, well then, I'm superman of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, yeah. I would like to study accountancy so that I'll be able to join you in the World Trade Organization in Switzerland. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow, that would be so wonderful, my baby. But please, I need you to be sure that is what you want to study, all right? I wouldn't want you to study accountancy all because your mommy works at the World Trade Organization. I want you to study what you have passion for. Uh, babe, where are you going? I just got a call. I have an emergency meeting at the office. Daddy! But mom just came back. Why are you leaving us? Why can't you just stay with us? I've been at home all day, honey. Let me just go and come back. Daddy, it's always from one meeting to another. I don't like this, Daddy. I was thinking of telling you and mom about our school party, which you did not attend. But now, you are leaving. Honey, I won't take long. I, I promise. I'll be back soon. Faithful. You know you have to explain to her yourself, right? I won't help you now. I won't. I'm out of it. At least I've been with her all this while. Why would she possibly be missing me? You don't get it, do you? She's not asking you to stay because of her. She... <sighs> I promise. It's just for a meeting. I'll just go and come back. I promise you. Babe, let me just go and come back. Why are they upset with me? I'll be back soon. What is it? Eh? Uh, Oga is not around. I don't understand. How do you mean our guy is not around? Yeah. Why don't you just go ahead and tell me he's in there with another woman? Or do you think I'm a fool? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Is that what you what you thought before before coming to this place? That was why you were banging the door. Eh? It's more than now you 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 show muscle to beat somebody. Hey, 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 look, don't insult me. Huh? Are you getting me? Do not insult me here. Madam, it's not all about insult. See, you are the one insulting yourself here. I mean, yes, because I, 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 I can't see the reason I, the GM of this house, told you that uh, I explained to you that our guy is not around and you are still doing Galadima to enter inside. Eh? That means you are calling me a liar. That, that means you are the one insulting yourself. 
Eh? That is it? Just because you don't want to tell me he's in there with another woman, right? Huh? Your guy is already seeing me as a nuisance. That is why he has to choose another woman over me. I must go inside that place. Who's your guy choose as a nuisance? Eh? See, let me tell you, you are giving yourself another another insult again. <laughs> nah, okay, not the insult before. You are not a nuisance. So you are not a nuisance. Okay, it's all right. See, let me tell you, my yoga is not around. Please go. And I don't want to see you like a mad, a, a mad woman here. It's like you want to see the madness in me, right? At the count of ten, clear from this road. Let me enter inside. Uh, rock off edges, clear for me. Uh, not only clear. Uh, see. One. You two. One. For my own gate. Now you want to do one, two. Two. Hey, stop that nonsense. Stop that nonsense first. Swallow you now. You know who I am. Bernard. Oga Bernard. You know who Oga Bernard is? Three. Two. Three. Four. I will swallow you now. Ah, madam! <laughs> madam, sorry! <laughs> nothing, nothing! <laughs> nothing is going on, madam! <laughs> madam, he, he just, uh, uh, all these my useless just friends that normally come around to take selfies uh, in fine houses. <laughs> and I've told them to stop, uh, to stop looking for me uh, uh, in my working place. And they refuse! Stop. Yeah. Honey, why are you treating me this way? You've been away since last month. I hear you are denying me of the right of performing my duty. What do you mean I'm denying you? Huh? I'm trusting that you've totally forgotten about me. Oh God, this confirms what faithful complaint. Confirmed what? What do you mean that you confirmed her complaints are right? Check your dates. What's today's date? Leo, what's been occupying your mind that you don't remember the basic things you need to know? Huh? Today's date? What is meant to happen today? <sighs> Honey, please. Explain to me. You are keeping me in the dark. <laughs> Amazing. You've suddenly forgotten my cycle. We both agree that when I'm not free, we won't do anything, right? Oh my god. I totally forgot. Honey, I'm sorry. But you know I missed you. It's not easy, you know. Staying away from your wife for a whole month. That's a lot. You totally forgot. That means you're carried away. What's been occupying your mind? Hold on a second. If that be the case, then this is the best time. Since we want another child. Another child? Leo! No, we, we can't have another child now. We, we agreed, right? Honey, honey. I thought we have spoken about this. You promised that we'll have another child once Faithful is of age. That was what you said. Why don't you understand me, Leo? We can't. Alright? You want me to lose my job? We cannot. Yes, Faithful is of age, but we just can't have a child now. Please. So keeping your job has to be at the expense of the family. Why are you doing me like this? Do we have to go over this again? Can't you understand that age is not on our side? Babe, please come on. You need to calm down, okay? You need to understand me. I can deal with the pressure of my work and pregnancy at the same time. Let me just do the work and then I'll be done soon. And everything can fall in their different places, okay? You make me speechless sometimes. What kind of a woman are you? You are... Oh, please. need to understand. Since you don't want to perform your duty. You need to be selfish, you know. I don't want any of this. All I want is one big happy family. 
Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass we so far. Yeah, when mommy and daddy are fighting, it's obvious the child is gonna suffer. When mommy and daddy are fighting, it's affecting the children. That woman is with my mommy. Which woman is that? That's my supposed mommy's friend. Who? Oh. Wait, you, you mean Auntie Rebecca? Yes. Uh -huh. So what about her? What happened? I just feel like going downstairs to tell her to leave our house. You, 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 you don't... Ah, faithful! Why do you want to do that? I will not advise you. That woman is your mother's best friend, not your ordinary friend. Auntie Tiani, that woman is a sheep in a wolf's clothing. Please, I, I don't understand. That English is too much for me. Please explain. Auntie Tiani, don't worry. Let me go and see my mom first. I want to ask her a question. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, don't do that. Don't even do that at all. Ah. Ah, faithful. All the time you're always in a haste. Marathon, marathon, Usain Bolt. You just want to run and sharp, sharp. If or no, be coming there. Look, let me advise you. Even if you want to do that, not now. You have to have a nyani me that me long patience. You have to wait until when your mother's friend go. Hey, hey, that you can go and have a conversation one on one. No, Auntie Annie. I want them to explain the meaning of betrayal to me. Okay, wait. Let me explain it to you. Betrayal means someone exposing somebody's secret. When that person is supposed to keep that secret safe by coming what us, keep your mouth shut. So by the time you open your mouth and you talk about it, wah, 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 it's no longer a secret. It's called a betrayer. No, 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 Auntie Annie. That's not what my friend told me. My friend told me that a betrayer is someone who tries to take their best friend's husband away from her. Yes, but don't worry, let me just go and meet my mom so that she will explain better to me. Mm, faithful, I am not in support of that uh, idea Sorry. of you going to... I'm faithful. I'm going to suck out. You see that? I'm faithful. This one that you are doing now, you are going there on your own. This one you are going. I don't want later now. They call me, they said you don't have appetizer. Just managing this way, I cannot be sitting there before you know they say, Go and cook in them. I fed food, don't have appetizer. She need to top up her appetizers. I don't have skill. This is my little ways. I want to use it when I get to Oyo so that when I meet the girl, Namaye. Mommy, why are you staring at me like that? Have I done anything wrong? Mommy, you look ugly when you try to become mean. Faithful, I am not joking. You're hiding something from me. I need to know what it is. Start talking. Mommy, I don't understand. I am not hiding anything from you. Is that why your face is like that? Mommy, you're scaring me. Please, I'm not hiding anything of from you. Of course, you are hiding something from me. Faithful, you are my daughter. I'm your mother. I know you too well. I know you more than you think you know yourself. Start talking. What is it? Mommy, you are accusing me wrongly. <laughs> Remember, it's wrong to accuse someone wrongly. It is called infringing on my rights. Mommy... You're infringing me right now. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now I need you to tell me what happened while I was away. How? Anything like what? With your dad. Daddy? Mm -hmm. Daddy goes to work, comes back, eats and goes to bed. That's all I know. Anything else, Mommy? Nothing else. The question you you asked earlier, what is this about? 
Mommy, you're keeping me in suspense. I only asked a question I didn't understand. And is that a problem? Your friend, how could she make up such illustration? I mean, that's a strong language for a child to use. Mommy, is there anything wrong? Never mind. It's okay. Nothing is wrong. You're sure? Mommy, I feel there's something wrong. You feel daddy's cheating, right? What did you say? Faithful! Where did you hear that from? What do you know about cheating? You shouldn't use such word anymore, alright? Okay. Mommy, my friend asked me when I'm going to get a baby brother. Your friend again? Where is she getting all this from? Huh? What does she even know about having a baby brother? Mommy, I want a baby brother. She has a baby brother. They attend the same school. And she also feeds him during lunchtime. Um, it's okay. Don't let that bother you, my angel. Don't worry, soon you're going to have a baby brother or sister. But when, mommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an old soul trapped in a young girl's body She knows everything that goes on around her She's brilliant, you know She's observant, she thinks like an adult She's a little lady, like a mommy in the house She is above her age She knows you are Uh, babe I think we we need to change faithful school. What do you mean? I don't understand. What is wrong with our school? I'm not comfortable with the school. The school is doing her no good. There must be something you're not telling me. I mean, all of a sudden you want our daughter's school to be changed. Is there anything that happened that you're not telling me? Well, she, she's not learning the appropriate things she's meant to learn. The things she says, I, I don't just get it. They are way bigger than her age. I feel there is nothing wrong with her school. But if you feel there is, you can go and find her a suitable school. Babe, how, how can you even say that? You and I know that I will soon be going back. I can't. That's why I'm only suggesting it to you. Oh, really? It doesn't sound to me like a subjection. It's more like a command. I don't even say a thing like that. I noticed something inappropriate in our daughter and I'm letting you know about it. What wrong did I do? I've always been the one taking orders from you. Doing things the way you want them to be done. Your own is to just come back, give orders, go back. Then your, your servant will take it upon himself. Can you even say a thing like that? I'm not ordering you. I can even do it. But right now, it's not possible. I only want the best for my daughter. That's why I'm letting you know. So what's stopping you? You can go ahead and do it yourself. Within a space of three years, your daughter has changed to four different schools. And now you want her to change again. Well, change is one constant thing in life. And people will keep changing until they get what they want. I agree with you, my love. But you see, this time, you have to be the one to find her that suitable school where they can teach her all these things you want her to learn. If that was how you passed through your own education, excuse me. Hey, why are you walking out on me? What wrong did I say? Within a space of three years, your daughter has changed to four different schools. And you're here telling me nonsense. Go ahead and change her yourself.
Hello, hey, sister. Oh, good afternoon. Are you looking for somebody? Sorry, are you not the cook I met here the other day I came to the house? Eh, as for the cook in this compound, yes, I'm the one. But me and you meeting before, no, I'm not sure it has happened, no. It's like you forget people's face so easily. Okay, anyways, I'm here to see Mr. Leo, the estate mogul. <laughs> no. no, you are here to see who? Mr. Leo, yeah. the estate mogul. Yeah. And you are dressed like an Ashawo who is going to run promo copy. Excuse me? Are you referring to me? You're talking to me? No, no, uh, sorry. It's a mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, wait, uh, let me just inform the housekeeper that you are here. You mean Mr. Bernard? Oh, you know Mr. Bernard too? Yeah, sure, I know him. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy like uh, somebody that they put inside the freezer is cheap. Oh, no, I mean someone that is nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, just wait for here. Let me go and bring him in. Eh? Let me go. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, love I hope you buy something for me. Come on, take me Look, Bena, let me tell you something. You see all this little... You see all these little, little girls that are coming into this house to look for you? Don't think I don't know what is going on. I know what is going on. If I just choose to pretend as if I don't know. But you know what? Do not allow the separate to use me. Because when I want to bounce back, my you will not like it. Continue. I don't understand. What do you mean the girls are coming here to, to look for me? What is this? Yeah. 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 Too. You are thinking about something. What are you thinking about? Eh, I'm thinking about how the things are very expensive these days in the market. Faithful. Do you know that if you go to the market and buy maki for 10 naira today, tomorrow when you go is 15 naira, Ubangbang is 20 naira. Everything is just climbing more back to back. And you know that as... Hmm? What I'm seeing in you doesn't have anything to do with the country. Mm -hmm. I know it's something personal, so tell me. I'm a faithful, I don't understand. I am telling you what is happening and you are telling me I am lying. Do you think I'll be lying to you? I'm telling you the truth now. So you're keeping secrets from me? <sighs> faithful. Faithful, good time control. Don't say that now. It's not good. Look, I cannot hide anything from you. I'm telling you, it's the market problem that's giving me it. Hey, how is your mommy? Mommy, she's fine. Since you're telling me the truth, so be it. <laughs> Faithful, do you think I am lying to you? I am not. Mahabasim. Antiani, I have changed the topic. You went to the market and you didn't take me along. Why? Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you. I, no, 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 it's not that at all. In fact, I wanted to take you to the market. But now remember the population of the people there. Uh -huh. So it's not good for you. You, know, you are Ojibo now. I don't want you to go and lose inside the market. It's going to be very crowded. But I thought the market is meant to be populated. Hey, just that someday the population is plentier than the populated. So uh -huh, that one, you may lose in the market. I insist you are not going back soon. For Christ's sake, stay with your daughter. Better still, you can relocate to Switzerland with her. Or don't they have better schools over there? Leo, how can you even say a thing like that? You want me to lose my job? Wow, you of all people saying this. You know why we haven't relocated yet? We agreed on this, so why are you saying a different thing now? What kind of a married woman stays away from her family? Don't you care to know how your only daughter is doing with growing up? 
what else do you want me to do? I work so hard and provide everything she needs. What else? You think that is all that matters in a child's life? Don't you think sometimes she needs her mother around? I've been the one taking care of Faithful ever since she was born. You place your job above your family. Don't make it look like I'm not working. Babe, why are you saying all this? Huh? You and I know that my family comes first before any other thing. And yes, you are doing so much as a husband. Alright? You, you're actually doing more than enough as a matter of fact. No matter how you feel you've gotten accustomed with the white man's tradition, don't also forget that you're an African woman and you have a duty to obey me as your husband. What are you talking about? Who says I don't obey you? Everything I make is for us. That is it. It's always money this, money that. Do you ever think a person think your daughter needs you? I'm not even talking about myself because I know you already forgotten that you have a husband. No, no. Now you're hurting me with all these words, babe. Of course, I know I have a husband. I know you are my husband and you'll forever be. I'm really trying my best. Then your best is not enough. We need you. I need you. Your daughter needs you. The whole family needs you around. Babe, please, can we, can we just stop fighting? Okay, all right. When next I come back, I'm going to stay longer, I promise you. Please, let's just stop fighting. It's always excuses. I'm tired of your excuses. Please, I want you to do the need for. I don't want any of this. All I want is one big family. Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass will so I don't understand why are you broke me now. She, you see, I want to go to the market. Ndakaki so, comment from my front now. Excuse me, I want to ask you something. When did we start quarreling in this house? Eh? Why are you so harsh on me? Eh? Why? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Please, if you don't have anything to say, allow me to go to the market. Don't stand here and waste my time. I don't have that time to waste now. Okay. Why didn't you serve my breakfast this morning? Eh? I thought it's your duty to serve me breakfast every morning. Eh? Oh, oh, oh did, did you suddenly change? Eh? No, I'll serve you breakfast. How? I should bring breakfast to come and serve him, bed as what? As the king come that you are now. Ah, Bena. No, Bena, just keep quiet and listen to yourself. Listen to what you are saying. I should come and serve you breakfast. Look, let me tell you. You see that lifestyle that is hungering you? It is not in opening and closing of gate. You will go to the office and sit there and cut embarrass like the owner of the office so that we will know who you are. I do know nothing. Don't waste my time. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. My friend, go and open that gate. That is what you are doing. Nonsense. No, you went for big brother and open the gate, let somebody come inside. Ha. Oh. Hello, Annie. Ero! Auntie Ero! You're welcome. How are you? As you can see, I am doing fine. Thank you. And you? I see you're headed to the market as usual. Eh, yes, so that's where I'm going to. That is what I was in prayer for. It's my job. <laughs> and you. Why did it take you so long to open the gates for me? I'm sorry. You're sorry. This is the only thing you've been assigned to do in this house. And you cannot do it. Open the gates. You should be sorry. Is your boss around? Should be headed in. Make sure you focus on your work. I don't keep you waiting. Abba, see, I like her. I like you. See the way you are behaving like a Margaret Natasha. All these a big, big guests that know what's up. Ah, ah, your presence alone is fire. Ah, Abena, look at you. It is a woman that spoke to you like this and your body is shaking. Crack, 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 crack. Look at you. You almost born. By the time she finishes with you, my Abba, see the heat that's coming out from her. <laughs> you turn to burnt offering. Get out from this place. Let me go to the market. Just know that I'm hungry. See, all this that you are saying, you are doing now. For your mouth is smelling. I don't know if you know this. 
Idiot! Come on! Come back with us, you give me food! Idiot! And this one that is doing boy, boy, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Um. Why is she always coming back home when if her madam is not around? With all the nonsense she wears, why will madam, eh, in her right senses, if I trust somebody like this and even go as far as calling her a friend, or even allowing her to come close to the husband? Sigh, must remember. Some women don't have shame, oh. they don't have shame. Anyway, what is my own? They are all adult. They are mature people. And they should be able to know what is best for them. Who am I? I am nothing but just a common maid. Anyway, it's none of my business. It's not my concern. If Madame like, after all, is her friend, who am I to yours? But Mama, see if I am the one. Mama, see, you cannot be my friend and wear that kind of nonsense. I would have sent the Holy Ghost separate Mama, see, to come and just destroy you. That one, you're just walking naked now. You're using handkerchief to cover your little nyan. Come on, Leo. Stop. Please, just stop. Are you sure? You're my wife's best friend, don't you understand? Or is it that you don't have conscience? Oh, really? Wow, interesting. You did not know I was your wife's best friend when you asked me out. All of a sudden, you remember something called conscience. Why are you acting up? See, Rebecca, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know my wife is away, but I can't do this to her. You know everything that happened that day was under influence of alcohol. And you know it. Oh. It has stopped and I want it to be like that. Please. <laughs> How smart of you. Really. Let me tell you something. I am not some kind of girl you will, you will use and dump. Okay? In as much as I will let you be. You cannot mess with me. You won't do that to me. Hold on. What is it that you plan to use against me this time around? You gonna tell my wife about us? Mm -hmm. Or you call the police and tell them what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I see I've been making lots of empty threats lately. But I promise you something this time, Leo. You see this threat? I will fulfill it. I promise you that. Rebecca. Rebecca, I hope you understand me. If I should go ahead with you, you might end up missing your own oh. man. I'm already married and you nothing will ever make me choose you over my wife. Ah, Leo. And why are you smuggling wild dimension into this? When did I ever tell you to choose me over your wife? Did I? Hmm? Can I ask you something? Go ahead. If she's the one doing this to you, how will you feel? Nonsense. Oh, stop spewing nonsense. How dare you? Listen, you may think I'm joking. But please take this very serious because I will fulfill every word I just said to you. It's not an empty dream. It's a promise. Rebecca, I hope you're not gonna do anything stupid. I hope you're not gonna mess things up. Faithful. How are you? Hi, Auntie Side Chick. What did you just call me? 
faithful. Are you referring to me as a side chick? Of course I'm talking to you. Besides, it's just a harmless pleasantry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and there's no one here else I'm talking to, if not you. Wow. Faithful. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you acting up? Why are you putting up this attitude? And when did you start becoming disrespectful? Anyways, I just want to tell you that I heard everything. What did you say? I heard everything. You want to take my daddy away from my mommy. I am not doing that, okay? Um, this... You're just overthinking. There's nothing like that going on. You see me as a child. I know you will deny it. But I had every conversation between you and my dad. Please, just kindly leave. <sighs> For your own good, leave this compound. Hold on, Faithful. Did you just ask me to leave the compound? It's my father's compound. So please leave. Okay. I will leave. leave. Outside. I am talking to you and saying, what was the meaning of that character? You use the spirit outside with your mother's best friend. How can you talk to a mature big somebody like that? How ah, faithful that was a very bad attitude. Nah, what you just do is not good for no. Auntie Annie, why are you scolding me? What did I do? You don't have to scold me for what I did that is right. I don't understand. Yeah? No, I don't understand. What is that thing that you do that was right? By disrespecting your mother's best friend? Don't you know that that woman is bigger than you? Yeah? Look, let me tell you. By the time your mother come back and find out that this is what you have done, mother, she will be very angry with you. Huh? Look, your mother did not raise a real child. She will be very disappointed in you. So now start talking. Why did you do that? Disappointed, you see. For trying to save her from that evil woman. From trying to save her marriage. It's even better she knows. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Don't call me. Why did you say that? What do you mean? Start talking. Make me understand. Look. Faithful. This is not the time for you to cry me a leaf out. No, this is not the time to cry. This is time for you to start opening your mouth and tell me, are you hiding anything from your best friend now? Oh, you're not a secret bank. Talk to me. What is it? You're hiding. Auntie Annie, mm -hmm. you want me to tell you everything about me. But yet, you're hiding something from me. You don't want to tell me. What is that thing that I'm hiding? Look, I am not hiding anything from you. In fact, I am as open as the Bible. I'm an open book. You know everything about me now. I can never hide any secret from you. In fact, you are my secret bank. I can't.
She can't even deny that she's already falling in love with him. What is wrong with me? No, 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 look at what is wrong with me. Am I not a beautiful woman? Because even in my room, I see Ojibo people coming, to, they want to use me as a supermodel. But I turn them down because of the love I have for Bena. I don't want to go far, I don't want to give him a distance. So the love will not be love apart. I want us to be together in physical and in spiritual. Why is Bernard always turning me down like a turning carry? What am I wrong? What is wrong with him? No, no, even if they want to say, let them do presentation. All those little, little girls that normally come to see him, are they even up to my standard and class? They are not even as beautiful as I am. I know when I walk, I know at the amount of shape that my nash normally shape. That's to show that I'm a complete African woman with fine shape. Why is he reacting me? Why is Bernard turning me there? Oh, Bernard. Bernard, you are missing something. No. You are missing a dick I come a very firm. I tell my soup. You are missing on red plantain with fresh palm oil from a correct Bernard, you are missing snail that will top up your blood and bring down your BP temperature. Bernard, you are missing a quiet woman in your life. You need a touch of a quiet woman that will make your skin look fresh like organic cream. Bernard! Bernard! Bernard, as I command you now and come and love me. May your mind never be restless until you come back and say, I love you, Annie. And then I will now stand with you and say, Bernard! And you will tell me, Annie. I say, Bernard, what do you want to do to me? You say, Annie, I want to take you and walk in the island. From there, we'll be together forever. That not even dead will take us apart. No, dead. He may die and leave me because dead is my age. She's older than me. And I'll become a young widow. So even dead will take us apart. But we'll live longer. And then I'll not say, you don't kiss your bride. Bernard, you'll bring your mouth. I'll bring my mouth. And then we'll join it together. We'll do. <laughs> I'll now lean on your white chest and I'll now go to bed and in the dreamland. Nana, Nana, Abe, Nana, oh, Ben, Nana, you bend me and not me. Nana, come to me. Abe, Nana, I love you, Nana, Nana. See, Annie, hmm? there is something going on in this house. Between you and Uncle Bernard, even my daddy, something you know that you don't want to tell me. Auntie Annie, will you tell me now? Never. This cannot happen. This will not happen. That stupid little brat wants to square up with me. Me, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, goodness. Really? I must take my pound of flesh. And for that stupid Ingrid, after all I did for him, after 
after all I did for you, Leo? You want to, you want to break up with me? You want to dump me? You have to calm down, okay? Even though I know you messed up, but I had to hurry down here immediately I saw that. How did she get to send you this? Like, I mean, that girl is a witch. I'm still wondering how she maneuvered everything. Listen, you know your friend very well. I wouldn't want her to know about it, please. I mean, exactly what I don't know. How she got this is what I don't know. And you know, she sent this threatening that she was going to send it to your wife because she knows that I'm your wife's friend. What am I going to do now? <sighs> Rebecca, I know I messed up. Yeah, I didn't do well. But please, you have to keep this for me. I don't want my wife to know about it. You know I can't do anything for you, right? And as for telling your wife, I won't. So relax. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I won't. Meanwhile, let's focus on how to solve this issue at hand and stop her from circulating it. She's demanding for money, and that money is something I cannot give to her. Why? I mean, why don't you just give her the money so she can leave us alone? That's the problem. Give her money and she'll come back for more. If I'm gonna fight this, I'd rather fight it once and for all. You're right. Yeah. How come I didn't think about this? Can you show me the picture of this girl? I mean, I need her details in full. You really want to help me? Mm-hmm, of course. So how do we intend to do that? Don't worry about it. Just do as I say. My name is Rebecca. No one messes with me. So Leo, let's see who begs finally. Mm-hmm. By the time you hear of my name, you will hide. Stupid, foolish idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trapped in the young girl's bad baby She knows everything that goes on around Annie. her Annie Jessica Is everything okay with you? Yes, I'm fine Are you sick or something? Yes, I am fine. Thank you for asking I'm back. Enjoy your meal Is everything okay between you and Annie? Yes Auntie Annie is my best friend. There is no problem. Well, my dear, problem is one thing that is inevitable between friends. There must be misunderstanding sometimes. Daddy, are you trying to say that if friends are not in talking terms, like friends fight? Come on, honey, that's not what I said. You see, one of the things you must learn in this life is that anything that involves two people, there must be misunderstanding. And the ability of those involved to always settle their differences and find understanding in their misunderstanding is what makes their friendship unique. That it doesn't include marriage. Of course. Sorry I didn't mention that. But Daddy, in my school, they taught us that in a relationship, one must have respect for each other. Exactly. 
Respect is more important in every relationship and friendship as well. Does it exist between you and Mommy? What do you mean by that? Daddy, you know all this and you don't respect Mommy. <laughs> what do you know about respect? Daddy, you just taught me that in a relationship, one must have respect for each other. Hmm? Daddy, why don't you have respect for mommy? <sighs> Good night, Daddy. Faithful. Faithful. You need to come and finish your food. Well, she, she's not learning the appropriate things she's meant to learn. The thing she says, I, I don't just get it. They are way bigger than her age. <sighs> Could this be what my wife experienced? Where is Faithful coming from? What else do you want from me? I thought we were done with whatever we had. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, no. We just got started. What we have together just got started. So what do you want? I already told you that I have discarded the pictures. So what that again? I don't think so, sweetheart. Those pictures are on your phone and you know it. Listen, I did not come here to fight you. I came so we could align and work together. Mm? How? You and I? What changed? Are you in or out? Yes, I'm in. Do I have a choice? Very good. So, you will do us a direct. If that's the case, I don't think we're working together. I am working for you. And who told you your, your opinion wouldn't be needed? Listen, in this game, I want you to know that I lead because I know where this is headed to. Hmm. It's obvious that I am working for you. And if I am working for you, you have to pay me. My opinion, my decision is final. There is no deliberating, okay? forgiven you a very long time ago. In fact, I forgive you since that yesterday. I don't carry you in my heart. Oh. No. Faithful, you are my friend now. My only best friend. I can never be angry with you for a very long time. If I do that, even Satan, the devil himself, will be angry with me now. <laughs> so you've forgiven me? Yes, my love. I have forgiven you. Thank you. Now, can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? <laughs> I, I 
miss you so much. You are my friend. Oh. I love you. Faithful. You know what? That thing that happened yesterday, it has given me reason to go and think and think and think very well. Oh. I have now come to the conclusion that between me and you, there is no more secret. There's no more secret. I'll be very open to you. No more hiding of little, little things again. <laughs> okay, Auntie Annie. Auntie Annie, can you tell me what you were thinking of? Eh, yes, well. It's been a... I love him so much. I adore him. I see him in my dreams. Sometimes I also want to wish that I don't even wake up because of the grossness between me and him in the dream land. Sometimes I see myself as Cinderella. Why he becomes the Spider-Man of my soul? But I am not sure he sees me like that. I love him very much. But when you come to reason about the kind of chaos that is carrying all these big, big kids, who am I to come close to them? Nyanga? I am nothing but just a male housemaid. I just wish he's going to rough me the same way I rough him. Auntie Annie. Yes. I am amazed. Imagine how you and Uncle Brenner's wedding would be. Hear me! Look! Don't say that one! In fact, don't say that again! Jesus! Jesus! Look! You are making me to suspect you! Ha! You faithful! If I don't know you very well, I would have said you are a house prophet! They sit even a house prophet! <laughs> but... Are you sure he feels the same way for me? I am not sure Bernard would like to marry me. I doubt. I am not even up to his standard of grass. Uh -uh. Um, why do you think so? Have you thought of where Uncle Bernard is getting money to take care of those kind of women? When you think about it, then you will know the truth. Faithful. I don't know, but you are making me, you are giving me these vibes of pain at this anino, you know. I don't want to believe that the love of my life, the person I'm dying for, is a thief. <laughs> He's not. Auntie Annie. Yes. Well, I think I have an idea of how Uncle Brenner will fall in love with you. I think it will work. Very no, no, Faithful, I want to know, is this the man that you used to eat in Kari and I'm very fine, now you need to talk this thing? Faithful, Jesus! Faithful, Jesus! In fact, we just went there. I just supposed to let me, let me sing a song to you. This song is specially dedicated to my one and only Faithful. Miracle! I said, Miracle! You know the entire Faithful to do <laughs> What faithful cannot do, does <laughs> not let you. If I will let me carry you, you can see that. I can also trapped in the young girl's body. She knows everything that goes on around her. She is brilliant. You know, she's observant. She thinks like an adult. She's a little lady, like a mommy in the house. She is above her she is above Are you the person that is looking for my husband? Um, yeah, yes, yes ma, yes ma. So tell me, why are you looking for my husband? Um, it's actually... I'm here for um, a business discussion. Yes. Business discussion? Uh -huh. uh, my husband is not around, so you can discuss the business with me, Nyanga. No. No. Um, actually, it's, um, it's something your husband and I 
um, yes, it's actually something we have to uh, sit down and and uh, discuss. Um, hey. Uh, that is what I'm saying, that since my husband is not around, you can talk to me about the business. So when he comes back, I will now tell him. No, um, since he's not around, I think I have to, I have to take my leave. Uh, please. I said you should come and discuss it. I am the wife, the bone of his bone, the fresh of his fresh. When you tell me, okay, you don't want to discuss the business with me. Okay, I am not a business tycoon. You don't want to base your business idea. I see. You came to run short time, but then he failed you. <laughs> Look, why would you put me in such an embarrassment? Eh? You told me your boss is my child. You were a Why would you? Why, why would you do a thing like this to me? You met who? See, let me tell you, my madam traveled. Yes, my ogre personally took her to the airport. So what are you talking about? I am telling you I met her inside. You're here telling me your, your madam traveled. Why would you embarrass me this way? Me embarrass you? You met who inside? See, see, I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? But for the fact I'm concerned, my madam traveled. Yes, she's not ready to come back to... Wait, wait, are you sure you're not allowing your fear to catch up with you? Would you just stop pretending? Stop already! What fear are you talking about? I'm telling you something you're here telling me another. I know you planned this. I know. I know you just purposely want to make me go through this kind of a thing. Can you imagine? Faithful! Faithful! Faithful, do you know that I almost bite my tongue and chop it because of Ingris? I am not a strong dictionary at all. My head is too old for this now. <laughs> you're a genius. Do you know people would think that you're my mom? Ah, Faithful, why will you call me, you know, my guinea? Oh. No. Why? It's genius. Oh, oh, a genius is those people that have an active brain that they yeah. are brain. Ah, <laughs> that's <laughs> you know, I almost thought you're calling me, you know, my kids twice. <laughs> Faithful, how was it? But this is your mommy's glory. They smell nice. It smells like talkie talkie. <laughs> Not like that, my coming. Hey, that one that normally smells smokes me because of my kiss and kiss and <laughs> I love you so much. Thank, you. Thank you. you for making me get that feeling of how a big man wife they smell. <laughs> but you know my skin almost look like organic cream. <laughs> I faithful. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> See, I don't want you to understand it from a wrong angle, okay? For the fact I am concerned, my madam traveled. Yes, and I don't know who you said you saw in there that looks like my madam. Never you call me again. And tell your boss I said so. <laughs> Rubbish. Wait, come on, open this thing. Really? Ah, it's all this one. Eh? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Why are you doing like, like wind? Eh? Excuse you. Eh, I saw this, I saw that. Who knows? She might be one of these Oman Jays. <laughs> All these marine ladies. <laughs> that in the morning they will behave normal. During afternoon time, like this. <laughs> Little will be doing kitchiko, kitchiko, kitchiko. <laughs> inside their brain. <laughs> Who knew what she saw there? <laughs> hey! Look at this girl, sir. But wait. Oh. See how beautiful you look to my mom's dress. It's as if it was yours. Yes! But don't worry, when my mom comes back, I will tell her to give it to you. No, 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 don't do that. I put that in fact, I did not listen to what you said with my ear. Ha! Ha, ah, faithful. Faithful, it's enough that we have disobeyed your mother by carrying her clothes away. That was very disrespectful. And now you want to go and discuss with her to even give me the grace. No, 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 don't do that. I am not in support. In fact, I did not even hear. Auntie but. Annie, don't worry. She will not get upset. She will gladly give it to you after she hears what you did for her. Hey, no, 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 no. I told you, I don't want to lose my girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Is the food not yet ready? I'm famished. Bernard. Oh. Bernard, have you been listening to our conversation? What kind of nonsense talk with that one? Eh? 
Person where they hungry, you get time to, 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 to listen to, to all, all the nonsense talk. What are they here to talk? Eh? I bet you let me go 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 Look at your mouth, it's like you call it when you run about. You, 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 you are hungry, you want to eat. Ooh, why are you laughing? Okay, you like you are entering back. So that, <laughs> uh, <it's> back. <laughs> Me, my mouth, they like you call it when you run about. Eh? See, look at you. Don't be carried away with all the chat, 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 chat. Because if this food mistakenly bonfire, eh? If it's in the test muscles, <laughs> you know me now, trust me. You know what I will do to you. Eh? Carry this a big stomach like an apostolic band, leave this place. I say, when food is ready, I'll bring it to you. Giving him it back to back. And you're laughing. <laughs> eh? just, just because of common food. Common food, that's so, okay. It's alright, no problem. I'm able to tell her not to give you. <laughs> Mama, so if you don't try it. Mama, so if you try if you try that nonsense, I will deal with you. Just try and see. I don't want that to don't get to you. Leave this place. You are coming back to be the small girl. You cannot go and find your mate. That's a not try it. You are not even ashamed of yourself. You are walking and your hands are shaking. I think I will not feel. <laughs> See the way we are still with him. We gave him hit track back to back like a, a musician. <laughs> Faithful. You know you are my daughter. I love you very much. You are beautiful. But this year here, there is something off about it. It's looking all like. I think I have to lose this hair for you, wash it very clean, and then we make it by styling it. You can even call me a styling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> please say that reminds me a bit. I think in the name of God, my begin. Don't discuss that with your mother. I don't I want to. I will. I will. And then let me pack my bags. Oh, no, 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 To this smile, you don't want me to this smile. You enjoy my food. <laughs> Thank you. Very Thank you. Very she is bold, like an old soul trapped in a young girl's body. She knows. How are you, Fitzu? Are you sick? Why are you like this? Why the strong face? Who are you? What do you want? That's wrong. That's not how to talk to either the person. That's very bad. Just say whatever you want to say. I don't come here to teach me how to communicate. Oof. Wow. Your mother has been claiming she raised a good daughter. Not knowing she has a lot of work to do. Well, I know why you're here. You're here to see my daddy, right? Well, he's not around. So please, leave. You've overstayed your welcome. Wait a minute. What did you just say? I said you should leave. Oh, I will call the police on you. Are you that rude? Don't push it. I will leave.
Annabelle, you said you were coming with the pictures. Yes, I did say so. Where are they? Well, on the contrary, why should I bring the pictures to you when you and I know that we're working together? The pictures are safe, so you don't have a problem. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? I'm, I mean, I hope you're not thinking I'm going to collect the pictures from you. What else? I know this is all a setup. You want the pictures from me? It's very obvious. I see you have trust issues. But calm down, Annabelle. There is nothing wrong with me trying to get evidence of what I'm working with. Hmm. Look, I don't want you to panic. I just want you to relax. You don't have a problem. Those pictures are safe. I hope you're not playing games with me. It is better you, you open up to tell me if you were the pictures or not. Kings, I am not playing any game. Pictures are safe. And when you need it, I'll give it to you. I hope you're not messing with me, sweetheart, because that would be the biggest mistake of your life. Like I said, I am not messing around with you. When we are ready, I'll give it to you. So hang it there. Be careful. Don't allow that iron to cut your legs. Just do it. What is the meaning of this? And what is happening here? Eh? Can someone tell me what is going on here? Come on, untie this thing. No, I don't understand. What is the meaning of that? Eh? I don't serve you food, you complain. Now I serve you food, you also complain. What is that thing that Annie would do that will make you feel alright? Or even make you feel good? Eh? No, answer me. Have I not been serving you food before? No, say it now so that I look like Annie is a very bad person. Or do you think I want to poison you? Uh, 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 Annie, can you talk this thing? 
Have you forgotten that day? That day that I came to collect food. Uh, you told me that. Uh, starting from today. Uh, let me warn you. Starting from today. Uh, that, uh, today will be the first and last that you serve me food in my own room. <laughs> we know the person that said it. And so what if I say? Anyway, I only came to serve you food because I want to clean the kitchen. I don't want you to come and interrupt when I'm cleaning it. That is why I brought your food to your room. So you eat your food and stop complaining. Oh, wow. That's good, that's good. I'm too hot. Hey, enjoy your meal. Don't mind you. I won't go. You're not feeling Back to sender. I need to go with dog. Back to sender. Look at you. <laughs> you. Honestly speaking, eh? I don't know why this guy is, is behaving like a bandit. Hmm? Small thing like this, she will, she will, she will turn to sadness. Uh, the next minute, uh, she, she will be happy. Behaving like a chameleon. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a cup of tea. I even enjoy my. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not be what I'm thinking. My dear, you are right. It's exactly what you are thinking. Yes. I added a little substance in your food after eating it in our sleep. We now cut it out of our blood. <laughs> so as it is now, hmm, you are going to tell us nothing but the truth. Why are you fearing pepe pepe? Don't allow receipts to touch my skin because you will not like it. We want Faithful. you to tell us the truth now. Faithful, evil you. How can you involve yourself in such evil act? Eh? It's not evil. Besides, it happened for a reason. The important thing is that you're talking. You're talking to us. See, see, I know this is the child of your brain. Yes. And for you to, to do this kind of sense thing, what I do now by putting something inside my food, eh? If you say you get what you people want from me, so people should tell me, what do you people want from me? Tell me now, that people do. Come on, listen. Come on, tell me now, You are very right, though. There is something we want from you, and now you will have to open your mouth and start talking. All those guys that normally come around to look for you, we know it is not you they come to look for. And now we want you to tell us nothing but the truth, right? Yes. Is it you those people are looking for or is it our boss? Start talking now. Hey, is that why you tell me? Eh? So that is why you put something in my food. Just just to know to, do, to know if they are coming to meet me. Okay. Let me tell you the thing that as, as your ears are open to hear it. They are my friends. They come to visit me. Yes. All those all those visitors that you see, they are here to see me. That's all. And that is the truth, and nothing but the truth. So can you time me now? Huh? Anyway, since you don't want to tell us the truth, mm -hmm. yes, let's go. Bye bye. Bye. I don't understand. I'm not becoming wild. What happened between you and the lady I sent to? Package to you. Uh, mommy, lady. Mommy, I did not see any lady in this house. Uh. Dear, please don't, mommy. For Christ's sake, I sent a colleague who was coming back to Nigeria to help me deliver a package to you because I won't be coming back this month. Mommy, uh, is the lady fair? Yes, faithful. Why did you treat her that way? Mommy, please calm down. I did not do anything to insult her. I was not happy, that's why. Why were you not happy? Did anything happen? Mommy, I'm sorry. You still have not answered my question. What made you do what you did? Mommy, I already apologized. You shut up. Don't you tell me to calm down. What have you been learning? Mommy, 
I did everything to protect you. What do you mean protecting? Faithful. Faithful, look, you have to stop crying now. Eh? Before you go and bring a sickness to yourself, you start having headache. Mbo, stop crying. Yes, I understand your mother is angry with you. It's because of that thing that you do. See, Faithful, eh? I am the only person that can tell you the truth when we are wrong. That thing that you do to that woman is not good. If or not. Even the Bible says that we should respect a person that is bigger than us so that they will respect us too. Eh? It's not good. Don't do it again, you hear? So no. Why then is she angry with me? Eh, she's angry with you, Nanga, because that thing you do is not good. Look, your mother did not raise you to be a whole child. There is no parent on this earth that will be proud to have a real child. Every mother wants their children to go outside and bring a good reward and award to them. No parent wants their children to bring shame to them. What? Sir, you are welcome. Ask me what I'm asking you. Who sent her away? Daddy, we can explain. We? Who are the we? And what are you talking about? Daddy, let us explain. Explain what? What the hell do you want to explain to me? Who sent my business partner away? That's what I'm asking you. You stand here to tell me that a contract I invested so much into has just been lost. All because of your stupidity. And you, I pay you to cook for us. And because of the trust we have in you, my wife and I allowed you access to our daughter. And this is what we'll get. How could you? That, that is not Auntie Annie's fault. I begged her to do it. Oh, really? You begged her to jeopardize your father's business. Why? Like Why did you do that, faithful? And now listen to me. Go in there, pack your things, and leave my house. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. For you, Daddy, please. For you, Daddy, please. Daddy, please, you can't do this. 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 She was only helping me save you and mommy. Why are you doing this to me? Save your mom and I. I'm faithful. Come back here and explain what you mean. You know what happened to your father? Get your hands off my feet. Are you mad? Can you? Faithful. <laughs> Faithful! <laughs> you must tell me why you did what you did. <laughs> no, 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 is this what I get for trusting with our only daughter, Liu? The least you could do was to take care of her, but no, you couldn't. You neglected her. Wait, I want to get something right. Do you think that taking care of a child has to be a woman's duty alone? And what makes you think I don't care for her? See which talking. Do you know anything about her? Are you not so focused with work that you can't even remember that you have a husband and a child to take care of? At least I'm always here with her. What about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Would you have preferred I lose my job? Would you have preferred I come back here all the way to become a housewife when we have you, my husband, to do everything? Wow, really? All you could do was just to take care of a child, you. Then you let her to go wild, spoiled, arrogant, right under your nose, under your watch. How could you? You stand here to tell me that I'm neglecting our own daughter, right? How could you? Do you think I can actually take that place of a mother in her life? No, I can't. I can only do my best as a man. Fine. It's all right. You can take her with you if you think I'm not doing enough. Others do it. So why can't you? Moreover, we talked about this. We discussed it and you agreed. You said yes. So why blame me now? 
am I supposed to know that our daughter has gone wild? I'm only doing my best. You, you really disappoint me. Is this, is this the man I got married to? Honestly, you're making me go nuts. Right now, you're making me go crazy. Why can't I have peace in my own house? Do you know how much I lost because of faithful? Do you know? Come on, spare me that. She's your daughter. You're supposed to be here and take care of her. So now you're yelling at me. Oh, please. Leo, you're walking out, really? This is just a mess. Good, good, sir. Uh, please, someone said I should give you this. Someone said. What's this? I don't know. He said when you open it that you will know who the person is. Someone gave you something and you accepted it without proper investigation. Don't you know what you were supposed to do? So, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Please go. Go. Okay, sir. Get out of my sight. Go! Um, sir, please. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Can you go now? Okay, sir. What do you want? What exactly are you up to? I know you must have received the package by now, Ansem, and you like it, sir. Why are you bent on destroying my marriage with your best friend? Have you always been like this? Oh, darling, I would definitely get lost. In fact, disappear. But that cannot happen until I am done with you and your stupid family. Why are you filled with so much hate, envy, and jealousy? What do you want from my family and I? Oh, well, sweetheart. Revenge. Revenge is all I want from you and your stupid family. I want you to beg. I want you to kneel down and beg me. I want you, right? I did want you. Revenge? What's revenge? What have you done to you? Why can't you focus on your life? You have other things to worry about. Why wasting your time on irrelevant things? Oh my, I heard she's back. Wow. Don't you think this is getting very interesting? I mean, your wife is back. You're here and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Leo. Making you suffer is something very relevant to my life, don't you think so? Listen to me. I told you you're messing with the wrong girl. I told you, didn't I? You messed with me and I will show you that I am Rebecca. Okay? Get that to your head. By the time I'm done with you, <laughs> you'll regret meeting me. Stupid. Hello? Jeez. What's all this? What's, what's going on? How long have you been standing there? As long as you've been on that call. But Daddy, do I need to stand here forever before I know what is going on? Sweetheart, please come. Come. 
my love. Please. I don't want you to tell your mother about this. But why, Daddy? Why? If you see Mom as your wife, why don't you open up to her at this point? Listen, Faithful. I don't know where all these adult stuffs are coming from. But I want to tell you something. I love your mom so much. And she remained my one and only wife forever. But dad needs to take care of something personal. No, daddy. You need to tell her. She might be of help. I don't want her to feel hurt. Please, don't tell her. Daddy, if you tell her, she'll be hurt, but it can be controlled. But if someone else tells her, she'll be hurt and you know she cannot control it. So let me go and call her. Uh, no, no, my love. It's okay. I will just tell her myself, okay? Okay, but you have to do it now. Yeah, I will. I will tell her. How could you do this to me, Leo? I trusted you. I sacrificed everything for you. I worked so hard just to give us a better life. And the only price you could pay is, is just to be patient with me, but you couldn't. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I tried. I honestly did. I know I mixed up. But please, I'm really going through a lot. You are the one I owe everything to. My wife, please forgive me. I should forgive you. You talk about forgiveness, Liu. <laughs> How could you fall so cheap? How? A man I've given everything to? Going all the way to stoop so low and do dirty things with that low life of a girl? Please, um, if I may ask, what did she give to you? Huh? I know I failed us. But just this time, I promised to make it up. I, 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 I don't know what came over me. Please, for the sake of our daughter. She's already feeling the heat of all these things and I don't want her to feel hot. My wife, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Can you listen to yourself? Can you? It seems like you, you, don't, you don't know what's at stake. Do you even know what it means for my husband's nude to be out there? Do you know what it means to have my husband's nude? Yours? Do you? Okay. In a few days, it will be all over the net. When that happens, where will you be? Where are you going to hide, Liu? Where? You went all the way to even sleep with my friend. My best friend, Liu. This is just too much now. This is just too much. And when you were out there doing all the dirty things, you didn't even put our daughter's feelings into consideration. God, just let me be. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I don't know what came over me. I don't want any of this. All I want is one big happy family. Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass is over. Yeah, when mommy and daddy are fighting. It's obvious the child is gonna suffer When mommy so and daddy are fighting It affects the children so much So that's why I'm saying hey, Stop the fight Stop the fight oh. Let's embrace peace once more hey, Stop this madness, this madness. Yeah. Let's live as one happy family hey, Stop the fighting hey, oh. Let's embrace peace once more Madness, mommy and daddy, hey, for my sake, oh, yeah, for my sake. Okay, mommy, I'm coming. 
even just get no. Okay. But you're not there. Yes, I am in this market, but there is a surprise for you. Really? I can't wait. Should I go outside? No, just take the city. Okay, I'm going. Atiani. I've been full! I've been full! I've been full! <laughs> Five, they put up the scale. Eh? Oh, my baby. But I miss you. I miss you too, my Do you not see you in my room? Bena, eh? I'm off to the market. Eh? Eh? Wait, 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 wait. Why are you turning me as if you're turning Gary? What's the meaning of that? Just that you look so beautiful. <laughs> you yeah. look so. <laughs> so, are you trying to tell me that I've not been looking beautiful before? And besides, what is wrong with the dress I'm wearing? Nothing, do. Nothing is wrong. See, with this kind of dress in now, you don't need to go alone to the market. I need to follow you to the market. <laughs> you? Anyway, thanks for the offer. Don't follow me. I'll go ahead. It's not possible. See, make I tell you. This job can even remain. <laughs> okay, just give me some more time. Let me just tidy it up. Let me do shout, 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 shout. I'll follow you. I need to monitor my son to the back so that all these small, small pussy cats will not. <laughs> no, no, no. You want to you want to monitor me as what? Well, as the monitoring separate that you want to control. That is why you want to follow me to the market. Abena. Hmm? Abena. You see that assignment that you're looking for, you want to perform. Mama said to not work. Stay at home and finish your job while I go to the market. Don't follow me. You want to protect your team as well. A protector that you are. Drop him off here. Please. I'm coming up to you. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Ali! seen this girl somewhere. No, 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 no. This face looks very familiar. Is this not the murderer? No, my eyes cannot be seeing me now. I don't wear medicated glass, so I'm very sure I eat fresh onion enough, back to back. I know what I am seeing. Is that not the murderer that the Boris were pursuing the other time? Uh -uh. Are you sure the Boris have not collected bribe? Because this woman is not even supposed to be walking freely now. By night, by cover, you back to my anchors, even in the name of prison. She's even working on Anya, she's still shaking. That means she's still feeling the freedom. No, no. Anyway, I am not the Aboris, and I'm not the one she murdered. At least the person that she murdered, the man separate is not pursuing her. Who am I to start pursuing her now? Let me mind my business. <laughs> Are you sure she's the one you saw? Yeah, Miyuka, why will you talk there and I am very sure she's the person that I saw. Where, 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 around where? Because she was walking around here, that is why I said, let me call you on top of the information now. Madam, we just hope you did not give us false information. Ah, uh, okay, they say police is your friend now, that is why I confidential in you. I said, let me give you up to date info. Uh huh? I know what I saw. Okay, just look around, check around, say, 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 turn around, say, yeah, I got Okay, that's all right. Now, listen, I just hope you are giving us the true information. Because you see, today we are going to wait here for her and make sure she's apprehended. Officer! Oh, 
Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne Bernard, leave my way. Bernard, leave my way. What do you, what do you leave your way? Eh? It is either you after something or something is after you. Why are you running like that? You need to tell me as a chief security officer of this, this, this very compound. That come tell you how. I see nothing is wrong with me. Why are you insisting in knowing what is wrong with me? Eh? Must you put nose your big nose into every matter that does not concern you? You said not me that something is running after, and I said nothing. Then you are insisting you want to know. You put your hand up. Bring them for. See, do you think it's easy to to, to, to care for somebody? Eh? Do, do, do you think it's easy to, to, to take care of somebody, to watch over somebody? Look at you. You should be happy that I, Bernard, the chief security officer of this very compound, is watching over you, taking care of you. That's 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 you. Know, just shut up that smelly mother, that smelly mother suck away in this compound. You are taking care of you. No, Bernard, just take a good look at yourself. See, see them for just turn around, look at yourself. Have you finished taking care of yourself? Talk less to come and take care of Annie. Look, let me tell you something. I don't have your time. I have not your time at all. Just concentrate on your work. That is, uh, you belong to the Cape. And leave me alone. Let me face my face. I drop nothing. Look at this witch. Look at this Galaba witch. Look at this, this, this girl that, uh, well, 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 don't enter my room. I, I, I admire her finish. I tell her sweet is finish. Eh? She can't behave like human being. Next minute, now, eh, she don't do like winch. Let's say this girl, nah, 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 nah. She's possessed. Yes, because eh, eh, in, in one minute, she, she's behaving like a human being. The next minute, she'll be behaving abnormal. Who knows what is after her? Eh? Which person? Honey, please. You know you cannot leave me alone to handle this. I need you now more than ever. Please let us do this together. It is your best, so clean it up, Liu. Don't put me into it, and please, while you're at it, let it not affect my daughter. I don't want her knowing things way bigger than her age. Of course you know this will affect us. Do you know the damage this will cause you and I? Already it's telling on her, and that is why I want us to stand together and make sure that she doesn't get affected. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Suddenly, you're bothered. Hasn't this been your greatest wish? Oh, come on. I can't. Why would you say a thing like that? <laughs> Why would I wish my wife's done for? Not to talk of wishing for any of my family members to go through pain. You know I can't do that. You can't do it. You've always wanted me to quit, so this is a huge opportunity for me to do that. So now, let it go out. Let it go to social media, let it go everywhere, let everyone see it. And probably when my company sees it, they'll have a bad image of me and they'll kick me out of the company. I hope this makes you happy, Liu. Honey, honey, this is what I'm saying. Talk to your friend on our behalf so she can stop all these. I know she can listen to you. I should talk to my friend? Talk to my friend indeed. What happened was between two adults, you and her, in private. So right now, you should sort things out with her and don't drag me into your mess. Honey, honey, please. I'm only begging you. I'm... I don't want any of this. All I want is one big family. Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass we so far. Yeah, when mommy and daddy are fighting, it's almost the child is gonna suffer. Yeah, this is the, the. What is it? What is happening? Faithful, you look sad. I'm not happy. Uh -uh. Why are you not happy now? What happened? Nzido talk to me. It's my mom and dad. This thing is tearing them apart. I don't know what is happening. I don't want to lose any of them. I'm faithful. Nobody's losing anybody here. Look, see, if your parents find out that you know what is going on, they'll be very upset with you. And I don't want that to happen. Eh? You are only but a child. Eh? It's not every situation that you have an answer to it on how to solve the problems. 
May go. Auntie Annie, I cannot allow my parents to separate. I have to do something. I have to try and do something, Auntie Annie. Ah, no. Ah, yo, 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 don't talk that. Ah, faithful, don't even talk that. You see this time around? I don't want to lose my job at all. Look, you were only a child. If you see what I went through the last time I lost my job, it was only God in heaven that saved me. So this time, I just want to be minding my business in the kitchen. But Even if my parents have to divorce, you don't still care. Nobody's divorcing now. Nah. These people, they are not going their separate way. Just give them time. Eh? Everything will be fine. Now I know you don't care about me or my family. All you care about is yourself. Ah. Yo, yo, yo. Faithful. Faithful, no, now. Don't do that. It's not like that. Oh. You will not understand. God. I don't know why this is happening. No. But I just pray that everything will be fine again. Eh? Why is all this happening again? Now I'm safe. Have a simba. Just for my sake. At least so that I'll have something to take care of my widowed mom in Yumba. Let these people come back, amen. I gave you everything. I took you like my sister. I trusted you with my home. How could you even do this to me? How could you? Oh, shut! Shut up! Shut your mouth! You did this, you did that. What about the things I did for you? What did I get in return? Huh? What did you give me in return? What are you, what are you even talking about, Rebecca? I've always appreciated you for everything you've done for me. Where did I get it wrong? I appreciate you every day because of the job you gave me. So what? Look. Look around. I brought you in here so you can see that I am doing good. I am doing perfectly fine. So if you're done blabbing, if you're done running your mouth, get yourself out of my house. I don't want your problems. Wow, you, you don't want my problems? You're tearing my home apart and you say you don't want problems? That alone is problem enough. What do you want from us? Ah, point of correction. Do not involve me in your stupid family affairs. For all I know, you are the one tearing your home apart. So handle it with care. Enjoy the fruit of your labor. Rebecca, what is wrong with you? You're meant to be my best friend, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. But things changed. Things changed, baby girl. What? What changed? How could you even do that to me? My husband has given you the money, but you've refused bluntly. So tell me, please, what do you want from us? Get out. I need you to tell me directly what you want. Is it my husband you want? Tell me. I said, get yourself out! Faithful. A faithful. Yeah. Faithful, what is it? Is it a pay? Is it a... What? What is it? Huh? What do you want? Faithful. Why are you talk to me like that now? Are we fighting? Eh? No, tell me if I offended you in any way. At least if I've done something wrong, you tell me so I can apologize. Nsiro. Well, I guess friends fight sometimes. Besides, friends also have each other's back. Eh, as for you, are right. The friends always fight and they settle. But as for having each other's back, <laughs> now I say I doubt that one. Because it is not all friends that will have your back. Here you go. Eh, but faithful. What is it? I just want to be left alone. 
just leave me. Tayo, no nang. But for those words you are using is too harsh on me, Nanga. It's not good. I cannot leave you. I care about you. Then, if the words are too big, just leave. Leave! Uh, yo, yo, uh, uh, faithful me, I cannot leave you. In fact, my placenta is tied to you. I cannot leave you and go to anywhere. Uh, we right here until you tell me what is sitting you up. Huh? I care about you. I cannot leave you. I don't think so. If you care about me, then what is happening between my parents would bother you. But it seems it's not bothering you. I hope when they finally separate, you would find a good job. Oh, you don't talk like that. In fact, clean that mouth. Don't say that. Huh? I have told you time without number that there is nobody that is separating in this compound. You see your father and your mother. Mama see they are glue like this. Nothing will ever be younger than they cannot separate. I've told you to stop saying that in Nanga. They are going nowhere. I wanted to be here alone, but since you're here, I will leave. You, 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 you listen. Hey, hey, I'm faithful. I'm faithful. I'm faithful. Faithful. Ha. See, this one you're hotter than Cameroon Pepe. Look, nobody's leaving this house. So. And you see my job? There is nothing that's going to happen to my job. In your recipe, Tape. This little job that I'm doing, eh, to make sure I get a little money to send Gary to my people in New York. Nothing is going to happen. Jesus. God, I beg you, please protect my job. Even if those people don't want to marry for my sake, protect my job. You leave my way. I am leaving. I'm done with this shit. Go and fix your mess. I don't know when it started, and how do you even expect me to come into where I don't know when it started? All you need to be a good wife. Honey, I'm sorry. You can't do this to me. We can fix this together. I already promised you that it won't happen again, and I'm serious about it. Yo, please do not even touch me. You didn't know you to get to this when you were following all those girls out there, right? Didn't I give you everything? Answer me! Huh? Honey, you, you, you know I tried. Why are you seeing this one that I failed? Don't forget there were times I really stood for us. Why are you judging me with this one mistake I made? Oh, really? You tried? So because you've been trying as a husband, I should sit back and applaud you for messing up? Honey, I'm not saying that what I did is the best. At least there were times I resisted temptations and stood for us. Oh, you stood for us? Then what happened? Why did you stop standing? Huh? What happened? Oh. At least you should have done that, knowing very well that you're not the only one in this marriage. It's you and I. I have my own temptations to face too, but I face it and I conquer. So what's wrong with you? Honey, please, I'm sorry. I said just, just this one more time. I promise you it will never happen again. I'm totally done. Please leave my way. I said leave my way. What's wrong with you? Just this one more time. I promise. Jesus Christ! How did you manage to get this? Stop shouting so that they won't hear you. Is she the one? Yes, yes, she's the one. And what do you want to do with the picture? Tell me. Well, I will say I will keep it. And to constantly remind myself what she looks like. Then, when I grow older, I will know what to do to her. Do what? See, see. Let me tell you. Don't forget that you are still a child. Yes, and you don't need to involve yourself in such things. You're still a kid. What a great job. And what is that thing that she does not need to involve herself until when she's grown and matured? Atian, it's nothing. Let me see that phone. No. She told you that it's nothing. Why are you stretching your hand to see what she does? I want you to see. She said it's nothing. Eh? And what is that thing that you are teaching her? Me. Let me see that thing. Bring it. 
No, Auntie Annie, I'm not going to give you the phone. Besides, I have the right to choose who I want to show something or not. Oh, 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 you cannot show me. So now you are choosing him over me, am I right? No, Auntie Annie, no, I'm not choosing anyone over another. All I want is for someone to help me to fix my parents so that they'll be able to get back together. And you, why are you so much interested in no, 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 you what it is? Eh? <laughs> she, she sweetly tell you that she has the right to do whatever she wants to do. Why are you forcing her? Eh? Mm -hmm. Faithful. Inside. Eh? I said inside now. Something for move. Auntie Annie, it's you're too harsh. And I don't like it. It's not fair. Stop. Bena. Bena, you know I know you do. But I just, just don't want to start reasoning one or two. This way. So what do you intend to do with the picture? Nothing. Can I see it? Promise me you won't tell my parents. Ah, I faithfully. Faithfully, is that how you see me now? Oh, you never treat me like a stranger. Faithful. I am sorry for what happened the other time now. I am not a bad person. No. He used that. The last time I tried to put body for that matter, faithful, you saw what happened now. Eh? I am just trying to be very careful. I don't want to lose my job again. That faithful, my you know, I suffered very well, my basim. You know my background now is not good. I don't want to go back to the fairies again. Auntie Annie, then why do you care about the picture? All you care about is yourself. So why the sudden change? Because I want to help you. Because I want to join my friend to fight this fight. Because I want to join and to see how we can bring your family back. My friend, once you are happy, I, Auntie Annie, I will also be happy. There is no need. I've told Uncle Bernard. He's helping me. So you will not lose your job again. Uh, no, faithfully, it has not come to that. I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to me, please. It's... <laughs> yes, I come here now. <laughs> Whatever you people are planning, I am inside. Faithful, please, just give me that chance. Let's join on together and bring back this family. Yes. Okay. Is that a jest? Yes. Is that a jest? Yes. Is that a jest? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming. I know what to do. Have you? Yes, yes, yes. Hi. 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 See, you meet this on your new face like this. You know you've been giving it to me before now. So why are you doing like this? And you can vouch for me that I celebrated it the moment you gave it to me. <laughs> so why are you punishing me now? Eh? Bernard. Let's go inside her. <laughs> Bernard. Eh? Ah, Bernard. Yes, honey. You know, some people don't fire you the fire of what they have. They don't know the value of what they have until they lose it. The kako song ya. She is smart, she is bold, like a note so trapped in the young girl's body. Where is my passport? I can't find it. I didn't see your passport. What will I be doing with it? Oh, please do not play dumb with me. I know you're with my passport and you must give it to me now. Stop accusing me. I didn't see it. I wish it remains hidden wherever it is. Really? Leo. Leo. But babe, come on. You know you can do this to me. 
What about our daughter? At least for her sake, stay with me. All you've caused me is embarrassment. Right now, I can't even sit out with my friends without them making a jest of me. All because of you. You've always seen me to be a bad mother, right? Fine and good, you can be with Faithful. You can stay with her and you can raise her to be that daughter you want her to be. Because you've always seen yourself as the best father in the whole world. So just let me be, I'm leaving. Give me my passport. Is that all you care about? Your reputation? What about our marriage? What about our daughter? Doesn't she deserve a home? Don't I deserve to be forgiven? Why is it that you want to leave because of a mistake? Can I have my passport now? Leo, can I have my passport now? Why would this man be with my passport? What would he use it for? Give it to me. Since you refuse to come with me, I need to have it. You can stay with your father. You've picked him over me, right? So give it to me. Mommy, you really want to do this to me? Even with the international class you have attended, even if daddy hurts you, don't I deserve to be happy? Why am I being punished for the crime I didn't commit? Mm. You knew all this were happening and you refused to tell me even when I asked you again and again you lied to me. You kept it away. Mommy, it's not like that. I was only thinking of how I would tell you so that you and dad would have issues. Fine. I hope you're happy now. Hmm? You're happy with how things are playing out. I hope you're glad. Give it to me now, faithful. Because I don't want to lose it on you. Give it to me! Mommy. Mommy, please. You can't leave me. What's this? Mommy. Mommy, please. Faithful. Stay with me. I'm getting so pissed. Give it to me. What's this? Is this a prank for me to stay? Well, you've gotten it all wrong. Faithful, give it to me. Get up! Faithful. 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 Oh my god. Baby. Faithful, somebody help me! Faithful! What's wrong with you? Get up! Get up! Somebody help! Faithful. Faithful. My darling, please! Get up! Get up! What's wrong with you? Faithful! 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 What nonsense are you saying? <laughs> Hold on, did you just listen to yourself? What do you mean you cannot do it? Do you realize I could I could send the police to uh, 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 to arrest you? <laughs> this girl, <laughs> you you're cracking me up. You make. Are you daring me? No, hold on. Are you daring me? You think you can just play with me and go scot free, right? You think you can just go scot free after playing with me? Oh, really? Is that it? Really? Wow. Oh, just wow. She got the call on me. <laughs> this girl doesn't know what she's in for. You don't have an idea who you're playing with. Okay. No problem. I, I don't understand. Why did my blood do not match with my daughter's own? Is there something you're not telling me? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I need to. I need to think straight. You need to think straight. You need to think straight. My daughter's blood is A.S. Whereas you and I are A.A. And you're here telling me you want to think. What do you know that you want to think? Didn't you hear what the doctor said? Were you deaf when he was talking to us? Why are you yelling at me? Please stop it! I need to clear my head, please! If anything happens to my lovely daughter, if anything happens to Faithful, I will forget that you are my wife and I will deal with you. I will so deal with you. But for now, let me just focus on my daughter getting fine. I don't even want to talk about what the doctor said. What? What are you... What are you trying to say? Wait, I, I, are you thinking I, I, I cheated on you? No, I'm sure you won't even think about that. We all know that this was all your fault. You caused it all. Caused what? 
Is it my fault that you pushed her? Can, can you just hear yourself out? Let's just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Let's hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you even thinking, Leo? Tell me. Fine, you want to blame me, right? Blame me. That's all you know how to do best. Blame me. But I need to think straight. All I just want is for my daughter to recover. If not, I won't take it easy with you. I won't. What is it? Eh? Why are you here? Eh? What are you doing here? Have you not done enough to this family? Eh? I'm here to see Faithful. Can you let me in? Hey. And listen. Let's just pretend like we have never met before. Do you understand me? Of course. Who would like to meet an ingrate like you? By the way, let me ask you. How did you come across her? I should be asking you that question. Were you not the one that gave her my number? Huh? And then she called me. Why ask me such a silly question? <laughs> Good digger. <laughs> I know you. I know you. I will allow you in there. See, let me tell you. As you're going in there, go and finish what you started. Yes! Since you love Terry, family is apart. Look, I will not tolerate this. You can call me anything you like. That's your business and I don't care. Who <laughs> just leave? Who knows what you are up to this time around? <laughs> Betrayer! Go in! Go! What do you mean? Look, enough of this nonsense. I am here to see this little girl. And my little advice for you is, as you're going in there, make sure you behave yourself. Don't misbehave, because if you do, you won't like this and you hear from this angle. You know how it is. I don't have time for this nonsense. Hey, 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 hey. Wait there. Follow. Whatever you think you're doing still doesn't dispute the fact that you're a cheat. You cost all this and you'll pay for what you did. Don't you dare! Please, please. Bernard! What is the meaning of this? Why did you let her into my house? Are you okay? Have you lost your mind? Sir, I am sorry. She says she wanted to see Fetful. And according to her again, she said she and Fetful are supposed to meet today. That is why I, I allowed her in. You. What are you doing here? Victoria. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hope is not what I am thinking. I should be asking you that question. What are you doing here? Are you his wife? And you're equally Faithful's mother. Oh my God. What's going on here? You two know each other? Do I need to remind you of what to do? All I ask, I've been asking from you is to be a married woman that you are. Period. Oh, please don't even go there. You know how long it took me to get this job I'm doing now. And you know we can't have kids now. I need to work and make the money. I need to because we can't even afford taking care of these kids for now. There you go again. Ever since you got this job, it has been my job this, my job that. Do you still remember that you're a married woman? Do not force me to make a decision that you and I will regret. Wait, Leo. Are you threatening me now? Huh? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Is it my fault? Is it my fault I'm, I'm the one to fend for this family? Is it my fault that you have nothing to do aside me? Huh? Oh, oh now I see. I, I get it now. All of this is because I don't have something doing, right? 
You just made your point. No. I'm a jobless man. No, no, I'm I'm sorry. Hey, Listen, it, it just came out that. the wrong way. I'm I babe, I'm what, what did I just say to him? What did I just say to him? Leo. Babe, listen, I didn't mean it that way. You really need to calm down, okay? Your husband is seriously not asking for much. You know I can't afford to miss this now. Huh? I can't. Even though you, 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 you're really interested in this, but you know this is not for new employees. Why do you say so? It's not like I wish you bad, sweetheart. But you know this opportunity is just for people that have minimum of five years experience and you're just a new employee. Either way, I'm just trying to be optimistic. You know, I, I just all you just have to do is to pray for me because I and then few of the people in our office are the only ones qualified. I know it's good to be optimistic, but sometimes we have to be real in what we seek. There's no problem. I'll just be praying, and you, as my friend, should pray for me too. If you say so, I will. Of course, you know, I wish I wish you well. That's more like it. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're okay. welcome. So back to what we were discussing. Don't you think you and your husband should, I mean, push his business further instead of pursuing something that will not yield any results? What do you mean? Are you, are you now, now mocking my, my family and I? Of oh, there's no problem. You hey, sweetheart, calm down. You know I will never do that to you. Why should I mock you? I'm just trying to advise you as a friend. <laughs> Baby, you've made me proud. I'm so proud of you. I bless the day I met you. You're a complete package. <laughs> oh yes, and you can say that again. Look at how you're praising me. Later you say that I'm not trying my best. Ah, no. <laughs> you know, with a woman like you beside a man, he can achieve the whole world. You are a strong pillar, baby. You inspire me to do more. You make me feel so strong. Thank you, baby. You know, with such opportunity, we don't need to bother ourselves anymore. Babe, you have my full support. You have my support and everything. You don't need to fear. I'm with you on this. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. You've always been a full support to me. Hello? Why are you calling me? I've already paid you off, right? What? What do you see? I'm so sorry, I cannot do that. Can you listen to yourself? No, I can't. Listen. Listen, I am a married woman and I can never do that. Wait, 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 please, just, please, please, how, okay, okay, fine, just calm down. Can we, can we just see and, and talk? Let's just sit down and talk some way, please. I, I know, no, I know, I know, you just have to calm down, please. You, you don't have to tell him. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Jesus Christ. 
Oh my God, what? What have I gotten myself into? Jesus, how, how did I even venture into this in the first place? How does he expect me to sleep with him? Why would he be threatening to tell? God, God, please help me. How do I get this guy off my back? What is this? <sighs> My brother said he doesn't want to see you again. That his business with you has ended. What? How, how do you mean? I'm carrying his child. I need to see him. I need us to talk. I am sorry. That was what he said. I should tell you. And look, you have to get rid of this pregnancy. Because he's not going to take responsibility of anything. That was what he said. Like he doesn't care about anything. What are, what are, you, what are you asking me to do? Are you aware of what you just said? Like... I should get rid of my own child. How can your brother be so heartless? Doesn't he have conscience? I'm sure you're not expecting me to answer this question. What were you even thinking? Why would you have something to do with someone like my brother? Look, he's not going to take any responsibility of anything like this. Do you think, do you think I, I purposely went to him? Do you think Whatever I did with him was under normal circumstances. Do you? And what will I tell my husband? What will I, what will I explain to him? Look at me now. What do I do? You have to fix it up. See, he doesn't care. It's not like you're the only woman he gets down with. Yes, he, he sleeps with all his female clients. Didn't he tell you before giving you the job? That's what he does. So you have to fix it up. Oh my God. No wonder... I was so surprised that even, even after I paid him, he still called me for it. God. Look. And I had to give in because I didn't want my husband to know what I did. I understand. That's my brother for you. First, he'll ask for your money and then your body. Please, I'm really, really sorry for the pain you're going through right now. Please. And look, and you, you have, have to get rid of this pregnancy, pregnancy because, because he's, he's not, not going, going to take responsibility of anything. Of anything. That, was, that what was what he said, he said. Like, like he doesn't, he doesn't care, care about, about anything. anything. See, he doesn't, he doesn't care. care. It's, it's not, not like you're the, the only woman he gets down with. Yes, yes, he, he, he sleeps, sleeps with, with all his female, female clients. clients. Didn't, Didn't he tell, he tell you before giving, giving you the, the job? job? I thought you said you don't want a child now. So do I need permission to perform my wifely duties to my husband? I'm only surprised. It's been long you allowed me to touch you. So is that what you want? No, babe. Why would I think a thing like that? You're my wife and you know I love you so much. Then don't look at me like you don't know why I'm doing all of this. If I take him now, what next? Stop acting like you can take care of a child. I know, but still not withstanding. We need a family. I mean, we need a home. We can manage anyways. Don't we have a home already? Come on, babe. You know what I'm talking about. Give us a child. Even if it's just one. Babe, just 
get on with it already, all right? No, I can wait. All pleasure. Hey, how do I go about this? They're not meant to find out I'm pregnant. Well, they will eventually find out. Huh. You need to stop bothering yourself. We we'll just make up an excuse that will make them extend it for you. Really? Do you think it's how it works? Huh? <laughs> Let nothing happen to my child. I know you wouldn't want to see the other side of me that you wouldn't like. Don't stress our child. So, it's all about you, right? Why are you so selfish? Huh? What happens to me? What happens to my plan of traveling out? Huh? Look, baby, I'm so happy. Like, I can't wait to be called a father. Yeah, I understand your pain, but I promise you that you'll travel out soon. I hope you're happy now. Hmm? You've always wanted to tie me down with pregnancy and you've succeeded. I, I hope you're happy. Hey, come on. You have to calm down, my love. This is for our own good. You will enjoy it, I promise. Hmm? You don't want to give me I don't know. I don't know if sorry is the right word because I know it cannot make up for what I did. I feel so ashamed of myself. <laughs> I knew a day like this would come, but I didn't know it would come so fast. I'm sorry, please. You fooled me. You fooled me into believing that I have a child. Knowing full well that I'm not the father of the child. Knowing that the father of the child will show up someday. We are ever going to tell me this. Look, it's okay. You don't need to disturb yourself about this, please. He is never going to show up. Yes. My my brother is late. Why did you do this to me? No, tell me why? Do I deserve this? All I have done was to love you. How could you? Why did you deceive me? I didn't know what else to do when I needed the job badly. I, I just knew that I, I, that someday I, I was going to tell you, but I didn't know when. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, please, your job, my foot. There you go again. Always having reasons for doing things the way they please you. Please. Please, I'm so sorry. Don't even touch me. Don't, 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 don't try it. You said your brother was shot. What happened? He was shot by the police. I'm so sorry for the pain my brother caused you, please. No, you, you don't need to be, all right? I brought this upon myself. Why was he shot? Don't tell me you have forgotten that my brother was an arm robber. It's okay. How can I forget? Wasn't it why I hired him in the first place? 
Oh my god, I've messed up, I've messed up big time. It's okay, please. You don't need to bother about anything, please. I don't want you to disturb yourself. The mistake has already been made. Don't worry. It's fine. Hmm? Your husband will come around. Trust me. I hope so. Um, this one where they keep face like this. I hope small madam they respond to treatment. Eh? I hope she's getting better. Hey, the doctor don't put blood for her body. Hey, and small madam is responding to treatment. Yes, that I'm worried though. I'm worried because our plan has been uh, chattered. Huh? Which plan? See, make a thing. Our plan still there, see there, as we plan them, as we still be. They hear me so nothing that's chatter up. Don't, don't, don't just go there. Just that uh, the, the, the only problem we're having now uh, is that that, that devil incarnate. The devil incarnate is inside there. Devil eh? incarnate. Who is a devil incarnate? Who is that? <laughs> the good digger, of course. The good digger, Annabelle. Yes. She said that. She came here uh, telling me that uh, fate for God her. Telling her to come and meet her earlier this morning. Imagine. Eh? In that case, let me call the police. Kai, ah, faithful. Faithful is a, you know, so she's, you know. See, <laughs> I tell you, eh? this no be by calling police. Oh. With what I'm seeing, eh? a lot of things are going on inside there. Yeah, she's discussing with madam. Plenty, plenty things that happen inside. As I talk to you, no be by calling police. Oh. Hey, hmm. That Annabelle. There is no place that that Annabelle will be that problem is not there. It is either she is bringing problem or problem is following her. But anywhere she is, there is problem. But you know what? She can never escape this time around because I, I will deal with her. Mama said, let me call the police. Who name for now? <laughs> I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Not by dialing the police. Not be who call police the wink is. Uh, you they hear me? From the look of things, the way I see things, they happen inside the air. Eh? It's like that. Devil incarnate, no matter from somewhere. Yes, two of them know before now. <laughs> See, like I tell you, and the way the way things are going, eh, no be even better place. Eh, I'm suspecting say no be no be no be for better place. Eh, they did not meet each other in a good place <laughs> in a conditioned place like this. I believe it's one crooked crooked place like that that they they to meet each other. Hey, yes. that one is no concern me. Whether they meet for a good place or a bad place, that means the right place or wrong place. It's none of my business. What I know is, you see, Annabelle, she can never escape this time around. Whatever she planned, she has failed. You see, this time, she will not escape. I am dialing the police number now. As I'm talking to you, I'm calling 911. <laughs> for Nigeria? <laughs> yeah. Our country will be 911. Hello? Yeah? Hey, is that the DOP? Oh, oh, sorry, it's not DOP, it's a DPO. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not education. No, hey, Mbox, I'm calling you to give you up the criminal that want no, to knock my organ killing. Case, so yeah. this is why they say, don't go implicate yourself. Without this most the way they give me for this case, why they take the manage for this house? You come now, they go cockery. Could you come? Could you come? Yeah, you yeah, move it, move it. Hey, hey. I think you can't do that. Jesus! Madam! Why are you crying? Madam, what happened? What did you do to my madam? No, no, no. I, I, I did not do anything. Honey, I'll be fine, okay? She didn't do anything to me. Madam, is it because of faithful? Madam, don't worry. Faithful will be fine. The doctor said that I should tell you that we are Nuka. Should see him in the office later today. Oh, thank you. Um, excuse me, I'll be back. Someone. Um, please, how is she? I mean, faithful. Is she responding to treatment? Which of the faithful are you asking about? Is it the one that you kept in this present condition that she is? 
Or is it the same faithful that you try to murder? Look, watch your mouth. How dare you call me that? I am not a murderer. Just watch it. Really? You are not a murderer? Then what are you? <laughs> I am sure you don't know that I know how you murdered your sugar daddy. Yes. That is why you are looking for a way to hide. Plain hide and seek. I think you're talking too much. Why don't you watch it? Mind the way you talk to me. I don't like it. What's wrong with you? I am innocent. I never killed anybody. Mm. What's your problem? You are innocent. No, innocent. I'm innocent. What did this family ever do to you? I wonder what you have even done to my madam. That is even making her to cry. Uh -uh. Why have you sworn with your life and your placenta, including your spinal cord, that you will never allow this family to rest? <sighs> my sister, don't you have shame? Even if you don't have shame, don't you have a little leftover shame in you for you to just allow this family to be in peace? You can call me whatever you want to call me, but I know that I am innocent. I'm not a murderer, please. Madam, and I am looking you into your eyes right now. I am telling you that you are a murderer, you are a killer, every bad, bad thing you are. That is why wherever you go... Oh, please, don't! Don't what? Don't what? Oh, you want to remove my eyes? Do it now! Look, you, be you better take your time. Don't, don't talk to me like that. And if I do, what will you do? What, what? what is going on here? How can do you both know each other? Why all this drama? I heard everything and I've heard enough. A mother again? Look, I, I, I did not kill him. I am innocent. I'm, 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 I didn't do anything. It was just a coincidence. Since he went to the bathroom. Chief. 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 Chief, oh, what's happening? Man, maybe he died out of a heart attack or something in the bathroom. I don't know. And when I noticed he died, I had to run away. I, I was scared. I, I did not know what to do. I was just, I didn't want any problem. That was why I ran away. I never killed him. And my husband, what about the nude pictures you took of him? Where are they? Why did you do it? Well, that I did for sure. It was part of the game. I, I never intended it would get to this extent. Why? Why will you be so wicked? Even if my husband slept with you, at least he must have paid you, didn't he? Why have you sworn to tear my family apart? Because, Why? because I needed money. I, I, my mother was sick. I couldn't just watch my mother die in my presence so i didn't have to do anything to get money that was why i took the risk to do this i'm sorry and my own family was your target oh god how selfish could could human beings be you're so wicked and you're so selfish just to save your mother you had to risk my family why well i'm sorry the police are waiting for you outside you called the police on me. Why would you do such a thing? I told you I did not kill him. I did not kill him. Don't you understand? I never killed him. Uh, I am sorry too. 
Now, so when you get to the police station, you can even explain to them better. Madam Control. Yes. You should state your fact right before doing this. <laughs> Madam. Time no money, oh. Madam. Time no money. Look, hurry up and go outside, oh. I don't want those police people to come inside here. I took my time to mop this ground with the new mobbing stick that Madam buy. Madam, I even use that dispenser perfume to go clean it. Hmm? Hmm. When you get to the station, Hey, do not forget to explain to them better, eh? Hey, as you win. You understand? Hey, you can even cut walk to us there, but you're sorry, up and go. I don't want them inside this place. Bye, bye. You're back. You did not forget your back. That is how wicked people are. They don't leave anything untouched. They go with everything. We don't know why by you. Bye. We don't know why by you. Bye. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The, the pictures. I need my husband's pictures. I'll bring them when I'm out. Are you sure I, do, I should not follow and collect the picture when she's out? She may take forever. Thank you. Thank you. Leo, 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 wait, please, Leo, please, please, I need to talk to you, please. Truly, I regret my actions, please. Please forgive me. Right now, I, I don't know what will be going through your mind, but the truth is you, you just have to consider the reason I did it in the first place. Reason for doing what you did? Really? I never knew people have good reasons for cheating. Please, I beg you, I'm sorry. Everything I've ever done is for this family, and I didn't intentionally hurt you. Oh, wow. How wonderful. Now you want me to understand, right? Did you ask yourself this same question when I made my own mistake? No, you did not. What did you do? You made sure you leveraged on that to make me feel like the worst person ever. I'm sorry, please. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose my family. I love you and I love the life we've shared. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but the city is just the height of it. And to even think that the one I took as my child is actually not. You're so ridiculous. Please don't do this to me, Leo. I beg you. Please, I beg you. Don't do this to me. She needs you now more than ever. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'll pay for everything I did, but please, no, leave her, leave her out of this, please. Please, I'm sorry. You know you are right. You will pay daily for what you did. <laughs> You fooled me. It would have been better you told me what you did. You played me. I didn't want to lose you. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? So, what are you going to do next? Just funny how she happens to be the light of this house. And yet we never seem to realize that until this happened. She is such a sweet soul. Yes. And now everyone misses her. I just pray nothing happens to her. She I just wish she would just come back home. She will be saved, okay? She will be saved. You know she's a wonderful child. Huh? It's quite unfortunate that she's going through all this now. Hmm? She'll make it. Are you sure? I wish all this drama will just come to an end. I just wish Oka Maram will just come back and leave us one big happy family again. So that everything will come back to normal in this house. Eh? This is not how we used to be. Oh God, please save my beautiful girl for me. Don't worry. God will save her. Eh? She must make it. Eh? But you see, I wish Oga and Madame will put her together and settle their differences. Eh? You know, it is now that she needs the most. You know. I just pray everything come back to normal. 
I miss her so much. I miss my angel. Thank you. Thank you? Yes. Why are you thanking me? For trusting me now. I know told you I trusted you. Yeah. It's, 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 you don't need to say it out. <laughs> I've seen the handwriting on the wall. <laughs> okay? Thank you for your love. <laughs> Not good. Please keep your love. Annie. Annie. Annie, where are you going? Hey, I don't fuck up. Eh? I shouldn't have told her oh, oh, all these all these sweet, sweet things. Eh? I should have allowed her. Eh? Now she will start avoiding me. Eh? Die. You're tired already? I hope you did not come here to seek advice for your failing marriage. Well, you're right. I'm not here to seek advice. Rather, to set things right. If there's anything you need to set right, that should be with your husband, not me. You know, I've actually been thinking what exactly you have against me. Though the handwriting was written on the wall, but I, I couldn't comprehend it. You should leave. Not so fast, darling. Calm down. I will leave when I am done talking. And I need you to listen. You've really been my best friend. And all I've ever done for you is to look out for you. Why so much hate? Like I said, you should leave. We have nothing to discuss about. What do you have on my husband? Are you in love with him? Ew! <laughs> oh, please. Are you being serious right now? Your husband? What possibly would I be having with that man? A man like that? Oh, please. <clears throat> it's so obvious. Well... I don't have anything to do with him. So why are you still holding him? Why can't you just let him go? Let's go, you man. I, oh, what was all this? I'm not holding your husband. Okay? If that's the case, why are you still blackmailing him? Ah. Uh, okay. I see. It's all about it. Nudes, right? Well, I don't have them. Very well then. What do you want from us? He will know soon. Very soon. I gave you a helping hands. And what did you do? You beat the hands that fed you. So chill. You will know soon. Okay? By the time I am done with you and your stupid family, you will. No. No, that's not true. I was never against you. All I've ever done was to appreciate your good work in my life. So what are you talking about? Really? You appreciated me by taking my job opportunity. What? You appreciated me by taking my traveling opportunity. Oh, really? You did all of that to mock me, right? No, no, you lie. No. Everything I ever got was from my hard work. I worked for it and I got it. Anyways, all that doesn't matter now. What do you mean by it doesn't matter?
baby, you're welcome. <sighs> baby. Have you had dinner? Um, sorry, I was waiting for you to get back. Then I, I didn't know when I slept off. How is Faithful? She's fine. I'll go and pick her up tomorrow as she will be discharged. Yeah, the doctor told me when I went to see her today. Babe, can I get your dinner? Darling, I, I know that with everything I've done, I'm not worthy to be called your wife. Please, I'm sorry. I need you to know that I'm ready to go by any decision you make. Please, I'll bear all the consequences. I'm sorry. Can you allow me to rest? I had a busy day. Not even like sorry fixes anything. If not, mine would have been fixed. I already had enough troubles today. Don't come and add to it, please. Just go to bed. All right. I love you. You know, when they give me break from here and I carry you to my state, I quite home stay, eh? I want you to know that when you see elderly person in the morning, you tell them, Madam, I miss Siri. I miss Siri. I miss Siri. That means good morning, ma. Oh. Hey. It's good morning. You're here. <laughs> Madam. Uh, yeah. Um, my teddy bear. I got you something really nice. A beautiful present. Come here. Come. Thank you. I don't want. Engel! Eh? What was that all about? Annie. Madam. What's wrong with my daughter? What did you tell her? Madam. I did not tell her anything. No. I did not tell her anything. Madam, I'll go and talk to her. No, no, no. I cost it all. I'm paying for my wrong deeds, obviously. Madam, please don't say that. Don't feel bad. I'm sure she will come around later, but I shouldn't say that, you say. My husband and my only child is avoiding me and you say I shouldn't say that? What do I do? <sighs> Madam, just give it a little time. Everything will be fine. But don't feel bad. Don't be hard on yourself. I hope so, Annie. Look at me. Everyone is now avoiding me in my own house. And the only one I, 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 I thought to be my friend is now avoiding me. I, I feel so alone. <gasps> Madam, don't say that. Oh. Madam, don't say that. But you are not alone. Madam, you have me. And I will always be here for you. Madam, I know I am not your class and type. But Madam, Whenever you need somebody to talk to, madam, you can always count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. I'll always be there for you. Honey, please open the door for me. I want to talk to you. You've been avoiding me since we got back from the hospital. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. And also, I am sorry for being a burden to you and your wife. It will not happen again. Honey, don't say that. You are not a burden to us. I'm sorry. Please open the door. Your daddy wants to talk to you. I will not open the door for you. Just go away. I accept I'm a burden. Just go. My love, please calm down. Your daddy loves you. You are the best thing that has ever happened to him. 
Please open the door for me. Leave me alone. Okay. It's all right. I will let you be, but just know that I love you. I'll be around in case you want to talk to me. Go, I don't need you. I don't want any of this. All I want is one big happy family. Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass we so far. Yeah, when mommy and daddy are fighting, it's obvious the child is gonna suffer. Madam, please don't over worry yourself. Oka will be back. Just give him a little time, but. Honey. Speaking of Oga, someone who has already asked me to leave the house. Wait, what are you doing on your knees? Please sit. Get up, sit, sit. Madam, I shall sit down. Please sit down. Well, our people see now begin wearing and clean and they eat with elders. So, Madam, see me, I sit down cross to her. <laughs> Madam, thank you. That's all. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Madam, if Oka had wanted you to leave this house, Madam, you wouldn't have been here by now. now. Oka would have thrown your things outside for a very long time ago. Yes, Madam. You, you think so? Annie, what do you know about marriage? Well, I have never been married before. I have never gone through that journey or that road. But, madam, I know men now. And with the little knowledge that I have, done little businesses with men, if a man does not want you to be around him, yeah, madam, would have driven you away since. He would not even allow you to stay around his house. Uh -uh. So, so why can't he just... Accept me. Why can't he just forgive me already? Huh? I I just hope all you said now is, is the truth. I, I just hope it's the case because I truly want my family back. I'm ready. I truly want to be a wife and a mother to my husband and my daughter. And I promise I won't mess it up. God, I miss them and I want them back. I want my family back. Madam, I'm <sighs> sure we can miss you too. Including faithful. Madam, don't you think it's equally difficult for Uka? Uka is trying. I know he still wants his family back. Don't you think he's equally going through enough stress already? Just give him a little time. So you don't stop to be a good woman. Oh. You see all this little, little love that you've been showing Uka? Don't stop it. Continue. Don't give space because any little space that you give, Madam, the evil spur will just come inside and maneuver things. So just continue to invest your energy, love, and time. Gradually, your family will come back together. Amen. 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 I believe. Amen. Um, what about Faithful? Were you able to give her food? Yes, madam. I didn't give her food, although she tried to make younger like network failure. But I now give her a little appetite. So she now eat the food. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Annie. I promise you when all this is over, I will reward you handsomely, okay? Thank you. Yeah, madam. Ah, madam, don't reward me. In fact, madam, I don't need any reward. Madam, when I was growing up, they used to say that a, a teacher's reward is in heaven. But Madam, you have given me more than enough reward in this house. Don't give me any reward. Madam, all I am praying for is for God to bring back your family together. You are a good woman. You are beautiful, Madam. In fact, any time I look at you, I see all this Indian, Indian angel. Thank you so much, Annie. Thank you so much. I pray that God brings my family back. But I will still reward you because you deserve it. Amen, amen, amen. Fire, mama, see me come up at all. Sorry, madam, it's the support that wanted to use me. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Madam, mm -hmm. this is my hand that you are holding. Oh. So sorry. I say, smell nicer. This is the kind of smell you perceive if you have long life and prosperity. Don't be ridiculous. 
So you mean you'll not release her until I come to the station? Yes. I know you accused her of murder, but you don't even have a proof. I must come to the station. What do you need me in the station for? Listen, I called to tell you that the girl involved is innocent. I am not going to sign any documents. Please let her go already. She's innocent. Okay. I'll be at the station tomorrow. Have you seen my wife today? Yo, no, sir. I don't see how. Did she tell you she was going anywhere? Ah, yo, Uka, she did not tell me. Not tell me she's going anywhere today. Where could she be? She did not sleep in our room last night. This is unlike her. She always comes to check on me. Well, okay, I don't know. But if you ask me, my little suggestion is that you should call her on phone to ask her where she is now. Um, please, Annie. Sir. Do not let her know that I asked of her. Just leave it that way. Alright? Okay, sir. Men, all these men sis, all these men sis, what do men really want? <laughs> Uga is still in love with my madam, but he has Uga in like some feet are carrying his shoulder up like shoulder fat. <laughs> Uga is in love, he's in love about his Romeo. But I told you, you've always wanted a happy family. Yes, but mom and dad didn't give that to me. Yeah, faithful. You are more than your father. They are sorry. They have apologized for everything that has happened, Nyanga. Eh? Please. Auntie Annie, she never wanted me. So why is she coming back now when I have decided to let her and daddy be? No, Nyanga. No, don't say that. Don't do that. Eh, yes, your mother made a mistake, Nana. And that is why she's looking for a way to try as much as possible to see how she can do correction. You know, even in school, when somebody fails something, they do correction, Nana, so that the person will get it right the second time. By pushing me down, when I try to stop her from leaving us again, Trying to stop her from leaving our home. Faithful. But don't allow that one to continue to build bridges now between me and your parents. Eh? Eh, Chase, yes, I understand. She made a mistake. But right now they are trying to see how they can fix everything. Just open your heart and give them a second chance to achieve this dream. Does it look like my parents want it? I cannot be forcing them. I am tired. No, you cannot be tired. Oh. In fact, this is the opportunity that you have been looking for most. Use this time to achieve that your dream. Remember. Auntie Annie, how? Now that my mom and dad are having misunderstanding. How can I do it? It's really killing me. How I wish I was never born. Ah! 
Ah, and you don't even say that in fact. Uh-uh. Is it the same mouth that you used to eat communion that you used to say this kind of eating? Eh? No, don't say that. You cannot give up now. No, you cannot. Eh? Look, in fact, I know they will not want you to witness all this. Mama Sim. Auntie Annie, hmm? why do I feel you haven't been understanding what I've been saying? Eh, maybe because your face is jello now. Whenever you are angry, and that is why you need to brighten up your face a little so that when you smile, I know that is my faithful girl that is making me to feel good, give me joy. Yeah, faithful. No, now you cannot be angry with me now. Faithful, come back, come back, come back. Go, baby, go. But Simbok don't need anything to happen to my Madam Bok. For, for the sake of the fact that she's a good woman, Bok, don't let her lie. You. Don't let anything to happen to her because I don't have anywhere to go to. But Simbok don't have any mom. I don't know anywhere to go to. But Simbok. Auntie Annie. Faithful. Why are you worried? What is it? <laughs> and why is everywhere so quiet? Faithful. My madam, your mother is sick. Faithful, my madam, your mother is not feeling fine. No, it means so much. My mother, how? Where is she? Let me go and see. Hey, hey, faithful, faithful, come back. Come back. Please, let's go to the hospital, please. You, faithful. We cannot go to the hospital now because your father has already taken her to the hospital. But don't worry, they will soon be back. Are you sure I want to go see my mommy? Faithful, you have to come down. Just come down. They will soon be back. I believe she had a little breakdown as a result of the mental stress and emotional trauma that she has been going through lately. I should have forgiven her. I shouldn't have allowed this to last long. I just pray my mommy will be fine. Auntie Annie, please let's go to the hospital. Faithful, calm down. I say she will be fine, so don't worry. Your yeah, mommy will soon be back. Eh? Auntie Annie, no, I want to go and see her. Auntie Annie, please. If only I want to go and see her too, but if only I would have to be in the house. But I go. Sorry. You're making me emotional. Faithful, you're making me emotional. Many other things. All I want is one big happy family. Everybody knows when two elephants fight, the grass is over. Yeah. When mommy and daddy are fighting, it's obvious the child is gonna suffer. I mean. Why do you drag me like that now and keep me to your taste? I don't like it, but don't do that again. No? Why are you treating me like this? Eh? Is it because I, I, I tell you that I love you, honey? Is that why you're treating me like this? You're in the chakra with the dinner. That is just shut up. Come in one foot. Who is talking about love in this compound when you know too well that nobody is happy? You know what is going on in this compound? Madam is not feeling fine and you're here talking about love. Are you not a selfish man? Why are you talking like this? Eh? Have I not been trying my best? Eh? Have I not been trying my best since all these things started in this compound? Haven't you, haven't, haven't you been seeing me eh, putting all small, small, clinical, clinical effort like this to make sure that things are calm? Eh? Why are you blaming me now? Eh? Why are you saying like you have been trying your best? Let me tell you, then your best is not good enough. If I know that little, little effort that you say you have been putting, it's not good enough. I'm a member. By the way, that reminds me. Are you not supposed to be with Oka and Madam in the hospital? What are you doing here? <laughs> Honey, I don't understand this. This is too much question. I don't understand that. Okay, okay. Okay, let me answer you now. Have you forgotten that Oka normally drives himself to the office and to market most times? Eh? Today now, he decided to drive Madam to the hospital himself. Yes, so <laughs> I don't have any option than just to, to be here and monitor my gates and monitor the small small things <laughs> that I do that, that is need to be monitored. Yeah. Yes. 
And in that case, that means you are making progress. <laughs> you can see that again. <laughs> see, let me tell you. Since we are making progress, eh? why can't you go ahead and give you hope? No, 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 stop that. Ah, uh -uh, I see me, bro. I see the way you just wrap me like pillowcase. Ah, uh -uh. now you are just behaving like a mini pin. You are not even romantic. You don't have a little iota of romance in your body. At least when you want to grab me, you take it slowly, step by step. Usso, usso. When you come, you come, drag me closer to you like a tiger generator that you want to drag. And then I'll feel the connection. Don't just carry me like that as if you want to steal me now. Nah. Yes, okay, ah. yes, okay. Stop, pussy. Let me tell you, it's someone love that you are just abusing. So, uh, uh, that, uh, I'm doing like a millipede. Look, look at you. <laughs> Don't you know that? Uh, they say, Look, let me tell you, I don't have strength for your nonsense, so I don't have strength for your nonsense. The little energy and strength that I have left in me. It's for me to use it and take good care of my faithful. And then the leftover, I use it to cook food for her in the kitchen. And also in my little, little house chores. That's all. I don't have train for man, but... <laughs> I don't understand, though. Wait, wait, wait. Which time? Which time they start to use uh, strength to the cook? Don't be this, this normal cook. Uh, normal cook. My, my old mama even teach me how to cook. She taught me how to cook. See, if, if you put oil in that pot, you, you slice the onions, put it to do, as it is in the pot, you just bring it down. I can use the strength to do that one. No! <laughs> See, let me tell you, where you need the strength <laughs> is by jumper. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I mean, don't see, don't do that, though. don't do that, though, before you make me behave as if you are paying my bread price. Ah, which are you are just rubbing me, rubbing me as if you are rubbing cream on your body. Don't rub me before you rub all the sweetness away from me, Umba. Ah, <laughs> oh, is that what you open your mouth to tell me? There is no problem. For that single reason, you will not eat any food tonight. In fact, there is no food for you until Madame comes back. That is a period. Yeah. <laughs> Please, that shall not be that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't just try it. <laughs> you know, say this. You see this stomach going to see. Eh? This stomach going to see. You don't know anything, though. <laughs> this stomach can swallow anything swallowable. <laughs> don't just go there. Every side I know, you don't have that kind of heart. <laughs> you have good heart. <laughs> don't come me a minister now. Don't do not do that. See the way you are knocking my chest before you know your hand will just enter into my pocket. Before you know, you start choosing me spiritually. I don't like that. Though. Ah, when you want to talk to me, talk to me. Stop knocking me like that. It's okay, nice. <laughs> have fun, I can't eat. You know what? I don't believe me, Sha. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. I'm far for the other one now. Ah! <laughs> did you not use me now? <laughs> no, did you not use me in the spiritual realm? Because I hate something come inside me. Yes. Did you not use me? No. Oh. I need to go for pregnancy to save your nothing. And if I find any little child inside my stomach, my I'm here and you. And you have nothing. Nonsense. You, you want to use me. You know. <laughs> You are carrying a rod. That's how you are. You are not behind me. You are not behind me. You don't mention me. It's the last gift from God. Come. Hey! Annie! Annie! What? You! You have a rod on. Annie! You've not talked to me since we came back from the hospital. Because I don't know what to say. Or probably I'm tired. You don't know what to say? Not even about the baby we're expecting. We? How am I sure the baby is mine? How can you say a thing like that? Is that how you see me now? 
because I'm trying to be careful. Once beaten, twice shy. I don't want to make mistake of taking care of another man's child for the second time. Leo, I can swear with my life, you are the father of this child. How can you, how can you say a thing like that? I noticed two weeks ago, but I couldn't tell you because we've not been good. Well, that's a good news. Congratulations to you. What do you mean? The child is yours, so please just stop what you're doing. It's not fair. What am I doing? Let me even ask you. When was the last time you allowed me to touch you? In case you've forgotten, it's time for you to travel back. You've stayed longer than you are expected. Won't they sack you from your work? I already resigned. I don't want to lose my family. I need my family. <laughs> when did the affairs of this family become important to you? That you even had to give up on your most treasured job? Can you please stop already? At least for the sake of your children. Until that is proven, I will not subscribe to that. Leo, you know you're the father to this child. You know too well. You just have to accept it. It's the truth. to bail this idiot from the police station uh, 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 and this happened even the video server I don't see Kai how come I did not think of this how come I didn't sense this Rebecca you Jones you lost God not be soon hey now look at me look at my body hey yeah 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 Having me. <laughs> Have you finally come back to our normal loving mood? 
No, no, wait. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? Are you not telling me that I am not normally happy when I'm giving you food? Uh -uh. Please, so don't call me a sadist. So I am not a sadist. I did not say so, nah. Just that you don't know how I feel each time I see you happy like this. It gives me satisfaction. Yes, it gives me joy. It makes me lose my appetite. Hey, hey, anyway, there's a reason why I am happy too. <laughs> yes. And in fact, that your year is complete because our madam is expecting another child. Madam is pregnant. <laughs> she don't carry belly. Yes. <laughs> that is a good news. <laughs> that means there will not be fighting and quarreling in this house again. <laughs> yes, all this uh, we won't be we won't be hearing it again. <laughs> you are right. But I just feel uh, Oka feel the same way. Oh. Because Oka is not happy about the news. So. In fact, Oka is still accusing Madame of cheating on him. Oka is even saying that he is not the one responsible for that pregnancy. Yes, Oka say no be in neck, Madam Gifambele. Huh? Hey, why would Oka say such a thing? Huh? Why should he? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Did he want Madam to die of 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 heart attack? Huh? Why did he say so? Hi, 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 hi. Hey, Bena, Bena, if you ask me, I'll tell you that Oka is very mean. Oh, my boss, Oka is a mean man. Uh -uh. Madame has gone through a lot now. He's not supposed to be treating her like this at this point in time. She needs love, care, okay, attention. You know what I mean, Nyanga? Back to back, you know? Hey, hey, but, hey, but see, see, let me tell you, hey, from the look of things, hey, I think, I think, hey, Oga is trying to, <laughs> to, to be a man, yeah. <laughs> yes. By the that road that he's playing, he's trying to be a man. Hmm? See, you know what? Allow them to be. <laughs> Let's talk of let's talk about uh, us. <laughs> How about our discussions? <laughs> what we discussed last night. <laughs> no, I don't understand. Which discussion are you talking about? Eh? You are asking me what about the discussion that we discussed the last time? Eh? It's my cellular membrane, my memory box eh, for you. That anything you talk about, I'll just talk it. Anytime you ask me, I'll just pick up. No, don't do that. You need to format my memory card so that I'll remember what we talk about. So remind me what is the discussion? Calm down, honey. <laughs> I'm done. See, see, I know I don't have money. Yes, but if you look into my life, you will see that I'm a young man with bright future. I will make money one day and I'll take care of you. Yes. No, Bernard, Bernard, I'm eating, I'm eating, Bernard, you have talked, you have talked, you have reached your bus stop. Why will you say I don't like you because you don't have money? Who told you women fall in love because of money? Look, let me tell you, there is more to love than money. Do you understand? Uh -uh. There is more a man can offer a woman than money now. Nah. Really? Yes. Or oh, have you not seen wealthy men that got married? At the end of the day, their wives are not happy with them. Yeah. Even with the money. <laughs> you don't tell me all this. <laughs> hey, see, see, you should have told me all this. Why now? <laughs> then allow me. Okay, let's start from somewhere. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been, you know what? I came here with a very happiness mind, but from the look of things, you have saddened my happiness now. So I need to leave you. But enjoy your meal. And you see these beans that you are eating. I don't want to hear me on twine, twine, twine that you're messing around. Once you eat, finish, you look for silly tape and fat your nyash. Thank you. Look at this guy. You don't want to mess and you 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 have money to bring the beans. Look at this guy, look. Love, umba. Uh, this one, umba. Uh, beans, you and you and you and No. Look at blood! Look at the blood! It's going! 
going? I just called the doctor. He's coming. He's okay? coming back. Just calm down, please. Calm down. Okay? okay? Honey, please stop crying. Another baby will come. <laughs> I hope you're happy now. Happy about what? I cannot possibly be happy that I lost a child. I'm a father and it hurts to lose a child. Wait. Are you now accepting that you're the father? Now I've lost the baby. Why are you acting surprised? Yes, the child is mine. I am pained just the same way it's paining you. Then why didn't you tell me? Oh, why didn't you accept the pregnancy? You told me the child was mine, so I believed you. Oh, why are you telling me this now? Huh? Why didn't you just keep it to yourself? Does it make any sense now? Because I already told the doctor not to tell you the cause of the miscarriage. Why? For right now. <laughs> I'm going to say it so that you can take responsibility for your actions. Responsibility for what actions? How do you mean? I had a miscarriage due to emotional stress, Leo. Emotional stress which you cost me. Why, why are you blaming me? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you blaming me? Yes, the baby is gone. At the same time, I was hot. You hurt my feelings. You know what? Whatever we think we are doing called marriage, I am done. I can't even try to make this work because there's no how it can come back again. I'm done. I can't do it. Mona Lisa, I'm your husband and you don't walk out on me. Mona Lisa! Honey, I know it's not easy with you right now. I promise you that another baby will come. I want you to stop being hard on yourself for the sake of your mom and dad. Please. Why, Daddy? Why are you both doing this to me? Don't I deserve to be happy? Of course, my love, you deserve to be happy. Please forgive me. I'm sorry this whole thing is telling on you. It has never been my intention for things to happen this way. Not like I'm happy the way everything is going. Why are you and mom quarreling? When will you both settle? My friend told me that her parents smell a laugh in their home. They don't quarrel. Daddy, when will you and mom settle? My angel, listen. Lovers disagree to agree. It should not be seen or misunderstood as a quarrel. When you love someone, you don't fight with the person. Instead, you protect their interest. Daddy, you once taught me that I should avoid fighting with someone. Most especially the ones I love. Yes, but misunderstanding comes in sometimes. Which the two involved always settle it. Daddy, when will you and mom ever settle? Are we going to be happy again? <coughs> My lawyer will be meeting with you tomorrow. Your lawyer? Why? I did not receive any invitation from him. Well, that's why I'm letting you know now. He told me to pass the message across. But your lawyer cannot just invite me without your consent. What is happening? What? Is there something that I need to know about? Why are you worried? Huh? Are you scared of honoring invitations? I'm not scared of invitations, but I need to know why I'm being invited. Good then. Get to meet him first and find out. I wouldn't know what he has in his mind. What are you up to this time? 
At least not something harmful that can cause a loss of a child. I don't understand. Are you in any way referring to me as a murderer or what? Have a good night rest, Mr. Liu. You need to explain all these things to me. Oh God, what kind of a woman is this? Bernard, why this face now? What happened, Zero? See, see, uh, let me tell you, uh, uh, I'm feeling that I am, I'm, I'm becoming useless in this house. Huh? Why did you say that, Zero? Why? Okay. Can't you see that Oga will no, carry me work again? Eh? He doesn't go out with me anymore. All I do here is just to sit, eat, drink, wash car, uh, open gate, close. Uh, see, it's killing me. I want to go out there and watch things, see the people in the world. Huh? Ah, Bernard. Bernard, if the problem you were telling me about is just this little thing that you just said, Mama, you don't have any problem at all. Only take it. Uh -uh. You don't have problem or there is nothing bothering you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because why you're saying this thing now? Because uh, you, you are Madame now. I want. You found favor in Madame's side. That is why you're saying this thing you're saying now. Eh, yeah, well, if I find favor in Madame's side, that is because I ain't it. Just now, I work for it and I have achieved it. And, but wait, come to think of it, Bernard. Have you bothered to ask Koka, man to man, why he has stopped taking you out or allowing you to ride him? Or even just think with you again, as you people normally bury before. Have you asked him what happened? Are you the one saying this thing? Eh? How can I ask him? A man that employed me to work for him. How can I go go and look at his face and they ask him such thing? Eh? Don't you know that it looks like insult? Eh? Bernard, where is the insult? Where did you disrespect Yaoka now? No, answer me. How did you disrespect Yaoka? Look, let me tell you something. You see this life? This life we are living is not that serious. If you have problem with somebody, or you see that the person changed towards you, the attitude, just they like a chameleon, you people are no longer the same. Call the person, ask him, oh, Umbrago, don't be angry. Have I done anything wrong? Have I offended you? If you offend the person, the person will tell you, look, let me tell you, it is only one word that can end the fight, and which is sorry. Nobody is above mistake, Nanga. Because if you do not ask what the problem is, my dear, you will not know and you will continue to have work, have work, have work, everything in your heart. Before you know, you even fall sick and maybe die because you are getting older. God forbid, I will never, I will never die. Look at what I say. See, let me tell you, eh, from the look of things, eh, I don't think all God that I know will accept. I don't think he, 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 he will look into my eyes and tell me eh, what the problem is. Yes. It's like you don't know that, man. Everything changed automatically. Uka has come, go and open the gate. Don't stand and be looking at me. Am I Uka? Look at this one. You are, you are, you are running and your way, she's shaking like a woman. Mahabasi, if I remain in that of Zion, so bold here, bong on the pekiki team, you will continue to open that gate in Jesus' name. You want to be going out to Doga, so when you come by, your mouth will be smelling, ishe, ishe, onion, 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 utasu, 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 giri, 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 you know, you remain here, Kenyan Jesus, amen. What is the meaning of this? It's exactly what you're seeing there. I don't understand. A divorce? Is this what you really want? Do you think this is the best thing for us to do at this time? Leo, I'm not in for your preaching, alright? You never realized it. You never thought about it when you were being cruel. Cruel? Yes. Did you just call that cruel? Between you and I, who was cruel to each other? Please do not disturb me with all these things you're saying, okay? The divorce paper is here. Sign it so the process can begin. What are you saying? When did this thing get to the extent of divorce? Are you sure this is what you want? Are you serious we are really doing this? What has come over you? Do you even think about your child? My child? 
<laughs> there he goes again, my child. You, you think about her when you were taking your pound of flesh? Why are you suddenly remembering her? Right now, there's nothing to hide. She knows everything. That girl is nothing but a kid. A she kid. doesn't know anything. Wow, she's a kid. You're just realizing that? Huh? When you're exposing her to things a kid shouldn't be exposed to. Things you think about it. Mona Lisa, why are you doing this? Why are you blaming me in all of this? Why? You, I do not intend to continue this discussion, please. If we can't settle this, I've decided that we should just go our separate ways. Alright? I'm not in for this. I tried. I tried so much to please you. I sacrificed everything. What didn't I do? But no, you had to stick to that one thing. Honestly, I don't think I have time for all this. Are you sure this is truly what you want? Yes. A divorce? Yes. That's what I want and you give it to me. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, my angel. How are you doing? I'm fine. Why are you up this early? Nothing, Daddy. I want to see you before I leave for work. Oh, my angel is already missing me. Daddy won't stay too long, okay? Okay, Daddy. But Daddy, before you leave, I want to show you something in my room. You want to show me something? Yes, Daddy. Can't it wait until I come back? No, Daddy. It's very important. Okay, fine. It's all right. Let's go. I can't wait to see what my angel wants to show me. <laughs> okay, Daddy. <laughs> Should I close my eyes? Uh, no, 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 no. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Where is the thing you want to show me? Daddy, this is a surprise. Wow. I can't remember the last time I received a gift from someone special. Not to talk of being surprised. Daddy, it's not in this room. My angel, I hope you're not playing pranks with your daddy. No, daddy, I'm not. Okay, so where is it? It's inside the toilet. The toilet? How age will you keep my surprise in the toilet? Isn't that disgusting? Daddy, I'm not a dirty girl. It's not as if it's inside the system itself. Daddy, all I want you to do is to enter inside the toilet. Don't you trust me? Of course I do. It's just I'm surprised. Okay, Daddy. Daddy, you just have to enter inside the toilet. Huh. And remember, your eyes must be closed. I'll close my eyes. Yes, because it's a surprise. Oh Right. My eyes are closed. Oh. Surprise, surprise. You can go in. I'm hoping to see a brand new car. Inside the toilet. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm not feeling anything. I'm supposed to be feeling it's something. It's going closer. Ah. I'm not seeing anything. Faithful! Faithful, come on! Coming! Coming! You're dressed. Are you going somewhere? Well, I just want to quickly get to the supermarket and pick up things, alright? Um, well, mommy, you look gorgeous. Oh, my princess, thank you. <laughs> um, Mommy, have you seen Daddy? Daddy? Um, I didn't see Daddy when I woke up. I thought he was with you. Um, Maybe he has gone to the office. No, he wasn't with me. Besides, um, Mommy, I want to show you something in my room. What is it you want to show me? It's a surprise. If I tell you to no longer be a surprise. So it's cool. <laughs> you have a surprise for me? Yes. Okay, let me quickly no, finish no, no, up no, no, and then... No, no, mommy. You can do that some other time. Okay? You just have to follow me. 
Okay. It's a surprise. Right behind you. <laughs> so my baby girl has a surprise. Yeah. Okay. Right. Are we there yet? Stop. Can I open my eyes now? Not yet. Hold on. Okay. Wait. Still shut. Are your eyes closed? Yes, my baby, they are closed. Mommy, you can open your eyes now. Okay. Faithful. Faithful, where are you? I'm here. Why are you outside? Mommy, the surprise is there. But I can't see any surprise. Where? Mommy, there is a key on top of the bed. Use it and open the toilet door. Then you will see the surprise. Okay. What are you doing here? Dad and mom, you both will sort yourselves out before I open the door. Who wrote this? Who else if not your daughter? I don't understand. I, I came here because she told me that she has a surprise for me. I'm equally confused. She told me the same thing. Wait, this doesn't even make sense. You are... Wait, Liu. Oh, you planned with Faithful, so I wouldn't go ahead with, with the divorce plans, right? What plan are you talking about? I'm telling you that I was also played, and you're here asking me this kind of question. Well, let me let you know that I'm going ahead with the divorce plan, whether you plan anything with her or not. What rubbish! Excuse me. What's this? Why is it locked? Faithful! Yes, mommy! Faithful, open up now or I'll have to call Bernard to break this door. Mommy, there is no need. Uncle Bernard won't answer you at all. All I need is for you and dad to sort out your differences. The earlier you two sort out your differences, the earlier you two will take your breakfast. And also, there are some water and some snacks on the table. And besides, I will take charge of your funds. Bye! Faithful! You planned this with her, right? How are you talking about? Okay. Faithful! Faithful! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Do we need our daughter to get to this extent before we know the right thing to do? I don't know about you, but I feel so ashamed of myself right now. Just look at you and I. After all we've been through as husband and wife, we we'll end up getting a divorce, going our separate ways. You don't have to blame me. I cannot be married to a man who can afford to see his unborn child die all because he's angry. A man who constantly accuses his wife of infidelity because she made a mistake once. I can't. You stop saying this. You know I was going through a lot and I needed to clear my head. It was not easy for me to comprehend everything then. I was still trying to get used to the fact that Faithful is not my biological daughter. And you cheated and made it look okay. And now the pregnancy news. I felt bad. But at least you should have accepted the baby. The pregnancy was yours. It was. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry. I, I didn't know what to do. I felt bad. I was hurt. I'm sorry we lost our child because of the things I made you go through. I love you. I don't want a divorce. But I'm not giving up faithful for anybody, not even you. I love you too. And it's not even like I, I'm happy all this is happening. I just don't know what to do. I, I feel that I'm no longer good enough for you, especially after what I did. My love for you is everlasting. I don't love you because you are perfect. I love you because you are yourself. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me, my love. Okay? I'm sorry. sorry. Come on. I'm so sorry. It's okay. What is going on now? They are laughing. No, 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 no. Are you being serious right now? Yes. Hey! Tengoro! Well, that is the only thing they will do to regain their freedom. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Look, those people, they have reconciled. Are you being serious right now? You just look at people that were planning to go their separate ways. All of a sudden, they are back together, even kissing and laughing, according to you. Hey! Wonder shall never end. It's possible they are playing games to fool me. I don't understand. Why would he say that? How can you say they want to fool you? You see those two people in there? Mama said, tip tap. That means everything is settled. It's my setup. Let me be the judge. No, are you being serious right now? So you want to be a your chauffeur, your father and your mother's head? No, now. It's my duty. When they go astray, I'll be the one to bring them back. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. A faithful of a seven kick banyo. A faithful of a Now I know. Now I understand when your mother said, you are a wonderful child. You are full of wonders. In fact, they should be calling you Dr. Miracle. I'm coming. I'm not ready for this. Now. You, you don't mean it. I, I paid for that. I said, I'm sick. Missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Come on, babe, don't do like that. Can you get on. it? <laughs> 70 okay, years old, man, like me. Look at what you're doing. Say so. <laughs> okay, fine. I just let that slide. <laughs> Gosh, when is faithful going to come here? Who's going to tell her that she can open the door now? My baby! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> You're an angel and you forever remain an angel, my darling. <laughs> I love Carl. My adorable daughter. You repaired the broken wall effortlessly. And it will forever hold you in high esteem. Thank you for being a wonderful daughter. You're welcome, daddy. I love you. I love you too. This is the only family I have. The enemies have tried to separate us. <laughs> but I'm happy we have not separated. Yes. And this is exactly how it will remain. Mm. One big happy family yes. that the enemies can separate. Exactly. <laughs> I miss <laughs> you. <laughs> She's so wonderful. My smart angel. My smart princess. Thank you. I mean, how did you do that? Who told you? <laughs> <laughs> She's so smart. Just like her mommy. 
<laughs> no, mommy. Just like my daddy. Oh! <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on, baby. She is smart. She is bold. Like an old soul trapped in a young girl's body. She knows everything that goes on around her. She is brilliant. You know. She's observant, she thinks like an adult She's a little lady, like a mommy in the house She is above her age, she knows it all Somebody doubt her, her wisdom is far above her age She's like a granny in the house She is above her age, she got it all She knows it all, her wisdom is far above Special child, her questions come like a thunder. Her observations are so right. She's just a child, but a smart one, endowed with so much wisdom, like a.